Hello there. Hello, hello, hello. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's a perfect moment to grab some tea and snacks before I start drawing or discussing anything. So, get your tea and snacks. Um, I'm drinking black tea with lemon. Delicious. Oh yeah, I'm also going to show you my latest illustration because I set it as a um, cover for the stream. Hello there! Oh, good for you! <sighs> Yay! Um, I'm so glad I'm on time. I need to doodle some ideas out um, and start some sketches and stuff. Everything lately has been so <laughs> a lot. I've been like a lot, a lot. I don't know how to explain it, but imagine that everything comes at you all at once, and you're sitting there not knowing <laughs> where to start. Okay, I wanna put on some music that is like kind of more neutral. I'm thinking what should I put on? Hmm. Maybe some bedroom pop would be just fine. Um, funny thing, I have bad acid reflux and I just ate and it, it's, it's kind of late for me right now. And if I lay down, my stomach acid will burn <laughs> my um, insides and I will get like, what? Uh, what is it called? Hardburn? Hardburn? You get it, like, um, girls, girlies with stomach issues will, will get it. Uh, anyway, funny thing is, um, I thought that her corpse husband, I didn't know much about him. I saw a lot of people being weird about him on social media and thought that Maybe he is being weird, but turns out he is a really wholesome dude, and his voice is the way it is because of uh, stomach problems. And I'm like, oh my god, maybe I'm, maybe I'm the future corpse husband <laughs> because I swear to God, sometimes like I'm just too tired and I just ate. I need to wait at least two or three hours before laying down. And sometimes I just <laughs> don't, and my stomach hurts a lot. Where's the music? No, now we're, I don't know what happened, but the music died. <laughs> no. Um. Oh my god, I'm seriously... Do I have to answer this? Do I have to? God forbid... Don't mind me, just like some people being unreasonable in the chat, it's... Like, okay, imagine an artist has two channels, two YouTube channels, and they are in different languages. One is an English-speaking channel and the other is not an English-speaking. Would you come to an English-speaking channel that is um, specifically separated and uh, demand a creator, a person on the internet? to stream on the other channel and speak another language seriously like am i like am i tripping or this is kind of like a really disrespectful thing to do i'm doing this oh my god i don't seriously the funny thing is, whenever those people, like, come here and complain that 
Oh, you you haven't. Uh, uh, why are you streaming here and not on your other channel? I'm like, yeah, this is this is exactly why. <laughs> this is exactly why I'm not streaming on my other channel. I'm like, I'm trying to think that I'm sharing my art, I'm sharing my drawings, and it's really late to stream on the other channel. And right now, it's a perfect time to stream on this channel because it's really late where I am, which means it's morning where you are right now. Oh, this is this is ridiculous. I'm drinking black tea with lemon. Yeah, um the funny thing is I noticed a difference between attitudes and on this channel people never demand that I put out content, that I stream, they never ask like, "Oh, wh when is the next stream or where are you going to stream or wh where when is the next video?" They're just glad that I posted and that that's it because Really, you cannot demand content from a creator. You cannot demand that someone on the internet is obligated to entertain you. And I'm just baffled that people think that they can come and complain that I'm not entertaining them how they want me to entertain them. And the fact that I'm also doing this for free is just... None of my channels are monetized. I could, but I don't do it because I don't don't see like um, and I think like oh am I being rude like no girly you can do whatever you want on the internet you're not like I have to like I'm not obligated to satisfy everyone <laughs> what the oh my god I'm so sorry I'm I'm drinking black black tea with lemon black tea with lemon and um one tablespoon of sugar <laughs> So yeah like yeah it's 4 p.m. for you but it's like 1 a.m. here Oh I don't have Patreon I have some like troubles with um Ko-fi and stuff but yeah whatever I think when I um will set up a shop or something that when it will be more stable I think if you want to support me the best thing you can now is go on Twitter and uh, retweet my latest drawing because um, I try to kind of put my art out there so a retweet would help okay I don't know what's wrong but the music has stopped and um, I don't know maybe I should Maybe it's driver's problem because um, on the system the volume slider like it shows that the sound is working but I think it's some other stuff. I really don't want to um, reboot my PC so sometimes you know the sound stuff stops working. Oh, I hate in here. <laughs> um, wait, let, let me check. Um, yeah, just don't like it when we sit in silence. Okay, while I'm solving this technical problem, grab whatever you are drawing and grab some snacks. Because <laughs> I think it's gonna take a while. I'm a cat lady. Um, yeah, I, like, I decide what I post and when I post and whatever. Oh, it's your first time. Well, I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna show you some of my latest finished illustrations. I'm gonna... Uh, we can discuss whatever you want. You're, you're free to bring out some topics. Um, <laughs> I, I said, like, I have... I want to chat about corpse husband and internet personalities and how people can be really weird to other people on the internet yeah 
Um, where is that illustration? I don't remember where I put it. Is my last illustration. Yeah, I I know this OC I want to name them. It is it's delicious. It's it's really nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, do I have any chat mods? No, I don't. Yeah, I, like, I'm okay with people expressing their opinions in chat, at least, like, if it's respectful. To me, I can take, um, I can kind of take a moment to reflect and to express my thoughts in a decent manner. I understand that sometimes people can be upset over such small things and I try to not take it personal but it happened a few times and it keeps happening and I don't know how to explain it but I'm kind of stubborn in the sense that when I do something that I always wanted to do like I always wanted to have two channels I always wanted to have um, an opportunity to share my art with everyone with uh, people who don't necessarily like speak Russian but I'm not Russian I'm Belarusian I'm from Belarus and I'm thought about like oh maybe I should have three channels like one when I where I post um, videos in my mother tongue in my like native language in Belarusian but as soon as I start doing something that um, some people from um, I don't, I don't even know how to explain this, this is so stupid. You can speak whatever language you want, you can put out content on any language that you want, and people that come to my comment sections, video comments, chat, and demand that I speak how they want me to speak, the language, like, Oh my god, you know that language, why don't you speak it? Well, that's entirely the reason why I created a separate English-speaking channel for English-speaking audience. And it's baffling that I have to explain this. Mm. Hungry caterpillar on it. Oh my god, yeah. I, I've been obsessed with worms. <gasps> Have you seen sea slugs? Sea slugs are so pretty. They're so cute. Oh, I hate TikTok. <laughs> I, I'm I'm confessing because I cannot. I, I need to reboot my PC to figure out the sound. I cannot do this with music. Like you know, I have I have to have music in the background. It's just sitting in silence is too much. Oh, it it works. Oh my god. I don't know what happened. Oh, oh my god. I realized what happened. It's the cord. It's so old and tired. It's just it bent the other way and stopped working. <laughs> I have speakers that are so old they barely work. To ignore them yeah I try to ignore them yeah I know because this this what today this one this was the last drop seriously I've tried to hold myself back but I think that I explain myself politely can we choose any tips for coming up with ideas for drawing if you are okay answering nature uh, pretty textures I'd say look for something that is not an object, but maybe a color, a pattern, and go from there. Oh, he is a very useful worm. He's, he is a brush holder. 
he can hold up uh, he can hold up to um, I'm sorry for shaking you one two three brushes at a time <laughs> brush worm yeah I I want to make some cute brush holders because um, I have like a pretty standard one also oh my god guys don't get me started on this I had drama with this uh, coloring uh, ceramic slab palette it's just it was so brutal one day I'll do a video about this because it was just too <laughs> it was ridiculous I was outraged and um, yeah I made this one for watercolors like with those small pans and the glaze kind of a little bit um, how do I say this in, in a nice way? It, it cracked, the glaze cracked, and um, it, it's okay to use, but still, a little bit ugly. <laughs> Are you gonna make uniquely shaped brush holders or something? Yeah, I made cat-shaped one, and um, kitty-kitty-shaped brush holder. It's like a, a loaf of bread, you know how cats sit and they um, sh are shaped like... Like, I made a brush holder that was, I, I made it like this, then a tail, and cat head, and then I made like this, and he looked like a loaf of bread. <laughs> and uh, two little paws uh, crawled into his body, so. I want to make cat brush holders, maybe frog, maybe, I don't know, like. Yeah, like I can make anything and I'm just sitting there. Oh, I have to I have to physically carry this fragile thing. Fragile fragile fragile. <laughs> what the Yeah, I'm like my my pronunciation be funky. Hi, hello. Oh no, it didn't wear off. Sometimes you see there's like this transparent glaze that you put on top and there's glaze that is basically fine white powder mixed in with pigment and it's basically clay with pigment and you put it on top and if there's too thick of a layer of set glaze and if it's not um it, it's kind of like um it melts down and sometimes the layer is too thick and this uh, transparent glaze cannot cover it fully so sometimes this happens Bread cat, bread cat. Yeah. Any tips? I started with watercolors. It's fun, but I had. <coughs> I need to improve. Yeah, my tip for watercolors would be get nice paper. I've been struggling to remember what paper I like when it comes to watercolors. Kind of. I've been in my gouache era for a while. Um. Oh, idea for steam lava fire and earth girls to match the water water lady. I don't. Oh. Good idea. Um, I thought about this character being coral reef character. But yeah, I wanted to draw them. Maybe think about their design a little bit more. Where's the other drawing? Okay, like, I fixed the music. I need to choose the music and we will start drawing. And I will look... Okay. Mm. You can you cannot go wrong with Nujabis, so Nujabis, Nujabis. I feel like she would have moon moons on her. Oh, maybe maybe like it's connected with tide tides waves coming and going. Hmm, good idea. Oh yeah, watercolors, like, I love, surprisingly, using them on smooth paper. I don't like when it's too textured, although it looks beautiful. In real life, I just like it more smooth. I don't know, cold-pressed paper, definitely, like, fine grain. Oh, fish swimming in the hair! I'm 100% sure this has been done before, but... 
that's a good idea. Like small cute fish, like colorful. Do you have any tips on making characters on or or an art block? Oh, kinda put me in a bad art block. School? <clears throat> you know, I'm suggesting that school is stressing you out. And that's the main factor of why you cannot draw. Uh, I'd say maybe focus on school. Um, alleviate the stress factors. Maybe you have some assignments due. You will draw when you have enough energy. When you are well rested. And uh, I'd say that sometimes you need to kind of prioritize uh, settling down anything that can be holding you from drawing. Let's say like chores, homework, any other responsibilities. Um, but like you really want to draw, but you have to do this other thing. Do the thing, then draw. <laughs> Fish hair clips. Oh, yeah. Tattoo type birthmark. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I thought that maybe the body is like I thought about cold cor coral reef creature kind of horns i thought that mm, i need to sketch this out yeah got to go guys um have a nice day like high and low tides based on the moon rotation like maybe her hair grows and shortens with the tides your brain is so big oh my god you're so right yeah it's like I see the chat, but if you want me like just to see your message, feel free to like repeat it or send it again. It's like no big deal. She looks like her name would be Sabrina. Sabrina the little witch. <laughs> Good luck with your drawings. Bye bye. Okay. Um. Also, I wanted to make a video on gouache. I wrote a script. I read it and I realized that there are so many technical details to explain, but I'm, I hope that I can record it. I need to plan out um, what showcases I need to like film close-ups of how the paints work and stuff. But the thing is, I'm like, uh, I needed something for reference. Uh, I found a video about gouache like the most popular one i clipped on it and i was like oh my god she explains everything <laughs> why do i have to bother like i can share my personal not like in a way that if you want to use gouache my tip would be in blah 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 like a pretty informative short like easily digestible videos about gouache exist and i thought like what's the point of making one of those but maybe you'll I should share my specific techniques and things that I do that help me work gouache because like any tutorial, any beginner's guide, like it's out there. It's already out there and I'm like, should I even bother with doing a video like this? Yeah. Oh gather um yeah, getting rid of trash and oil in the sea. Yeah, I wanted to make a comic about um uh, this character living at a coral reef and protecting it. It's not a mermaid and I thought like do they have legs? Do they have hands with those um, things in between the fingers that help them swim? I'm like do they have like those things that fish do <laughs> to breathe underwater? Like you understand what I'm trying to say? Ariana. Ariana? What are you drinking? It's tea. It's lemon tea. Is it drawing or a sticker? Oh, it's, it's a drawing. I cut it. I cut it out um, because the rest of the page didn't make sense. <laughs> so, what's your Twitter handle? Uh, it's verse frog. Uh, you can head to community tab if you want to search for um, the header.
yeah, I want like to flesh this concept and character out a little bit more because I like it. I never come up with OCs on purpose. Sometimes I just randomly draw a design and then I end up liking it, sticking with it, and drawing it again. And then I come up with a story and concepts about the OC and basically that's how I create OCs. Yeah, see-through. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought about it, too. Bye-bye! Okay, um... I really wanna, like, finally finish this sketchbook because it's kind of too big. Not, not super comfortable to work with. I realized that although I have a lot of space to fit lots of drawings in it, it's kind of not... How do I say it? It's like too thick. The paper here, it's really... I don't know, it's just kind of... It feels a little bit awkward to work in. I, I'm like, I'm just doodling basically. I'm trying to um, get, get it done with. I also did some oil pastel drawings. Um, yeah, like nothing new. Oh, I really love this one. Yeah, some studies from photos. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, those are some merge concepts. I wanted to make this cotton boy charm and this one yard as a like a thing. But right now, I I don't have the resources. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, I really love this spread this doodle spread super fun selling or giving away the designs of characters you don't like <laughs> oh yeah i did this a few times in the past um i had designed like a character um wait i'm i'm, I'm gonna find it it's a really old sketchbook i'm afraid something awkward might slip up <laughs> Because, well, my art was really different back then. Yeah, I sold this character design a, like, long ago, super long ago. I made it, I think, in 2016, maybe 17. Uh, so, yeah. I, like, cannot open up the shop, everything, because I have troubles with PayPal. And it's basically, you know, when PayPal decides that... I don't like you because it's um, my friend was helping me out and they created a new account and they have trouble with setting it up correctly so I cannot <laughs> sell anything so <laughs> I have like a really easy time designing characters but um, it just comes naturally oh I, I have like um, this is a really old one. Where, where are they in this sketchbook or not? I don't remember. Oh yeah, I also remember I sold this design of a puppet boy. Oh, I remember I posted this on Tumblr. Yeah, and this went up for like, I don't know, 25, 15 bucks? <laughs> maybe more, maybe less. I don't remember exactly, but... I sold this um, puppet boy design. Like, he had two drawings and that's it. <laughs> yeah. Giveaway. Giveaways or something for warmers. Um, yeah, yeah. I thought about that. Uh, you know what I like when uh, there are some prompts, like emoji prompts or something, and you come up with characters? I need, like, to do a video like this. <laughs> yeah, those those blues. Um, I really like this particular shade of blue. It's um, pibio, um, shade like it's called China blue. It's really great. Yeah, I'm definitely doing one. 
in the future when I get like everything figured out. I I was supposed to have work tomorrow, but since it's International Women's Day, I don't, so it's a day off. Have you ever done world building or made a character to benefit a world? Oh yeah, I've done some world building in terms of milk. Void with milk, he has his own like concept and world building thoughts behind it. And uh, Angel Post, if you know my Angel OCs, they are a part of Angel Post universe. Basically, I really like you, you know, like when you have some ideas and you want to fully flesh them out and think them through before you start telling about your OCs and stuff. Are you okay with people redrawing your work with credit? Uh, of course. Mm, there's a different thing when someone wants to study your work and they copy it to see what techniques you use. And there's... I can be totally fine and okay with that. And when people <laughs> kind of redraw it and deem it as that, like, they, they made it, it's not okay with me. But if you want to redraw a um a particular drawing you can do that just like you don't even need to like tag me or whatever you just can mention that it's a study uh, from and like insert my username and something so yeah um like oh, i'm sorry <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm fine i'm okay i'm chill just don't say that you did it because that's not fair <laughs> um yeah what type of paint did you use? Like watercolor, gouache, acrylics? I dislike acrylic personally too odd. Acrylics, um, they tend to dry quicker than gouache. Maybe you should try this beautiful Turner acrylic gouache. It has a really nice finish. Um, and, um, <laughs> And I use Royal Talents gouache. It's really nice. It has cool consistency. It's um, specifically built to cover large areas. So it spreads nicely and, and I love working with it. Any tips for making spreads? Lots of tips. Um, I had a video recently that I shared my sketchbook tips. I've shared a lot of um, tips on how to fill out your sketchbooks. Um, I definitely say that you should just go with the flow. Maybe pick some particular materials or theme or color palette for a spread and try to follow it. Even if the doodles that you are doing are totally random, a cohesive color palette will tie them up together. You're an inspiration. Um, could I study? you for my college art class oh my god uh, make sure you get a good grade do you need to make a copy of an illustration i i can give you some composition tips <laughs> i can provide you an analysis um so my latest gouache illustrations would be this one i really wanted to make it sparkle i put some glitter on but it's really it came out really pretty um you cannot go wrong with polar color combinations oh my god <laughs> my stomach grumbled i'm so sorry uh, and uh, i posted this on twitter al already i kind of fixed his face a little bit because his lips kind of went off center now the good thing about traditional drawings if you want you can fix some detail de details <laughs> what the fuck? you can fix some details in, in digital so i <laughs> when i sketch i like just think about if it's symmetrical or not i'm just like nah, nah, nah. and then i noticed how asymmetrical this is because um if you look closer it's like fine like it goes round and then it's like eh. so i fixed it up uh, digitally and it looks better so uh, about composition this thing this um 
frame around an artwork with ornamentals. My dude, artists have done this for centuries, and it's really cool because you can tell your own story in those little um, frames around your drawing. And I've seen a lot of artists experimenting with those frames around those drawings, and they look gorgeous. You should definitely steal it in a good way. So, yeah. What's up with you using me as an art study for your assignments? I'm totally fine. Like, get a good grade. I hope that you you'll have fun. The rabbit, yeah, rabbit themes. Um, it's kind of sometimes I paint one thing and then it turns into a series of paintings. Like I thought, okay, he read a book. Time to sleep. It's kind of lunar new year, year of the rabbit and stuff. My favorite color combos all oh, polar opposite color combinations on the color wheel. Hello, Kermit. Composition or for for the water girl, a shark or octopus. Do you have any trouble? Any YouTube channel to help with drawings anatomy uh, that you like? Um, I have some resources to help myself out when it comes to. Uh, studying anatomy and stuff. I went to art school, but I uh, left it. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a long story. I should make like a story time video, like I dropped out of art school because really sometimes um, it's too much on you and I realized how damaging it was to my health and I prioritized my well-being over uh, finishing this art school because uh, finishing a finishing art school would mean that I'd be like in debt and burned out. It wasn't worth it. So right now I'm like I'm working as an art teacher and feel totally fine. <laughs> Even without like finishing art school, you can still f you can still have a regular job. It's not necessarily like for you as an artist to have job that is connected with art. Like I mean. I thought about, oh, maybe I should, um, like, have part-time job at a coffee shop and be a part-time art teacher, like, if I need to support myself, like, more. So, I'm, like, I'm doing what I can to support myself and my family. So, um, not finishing art school is... <clears throat> it's cool, guys. Drop out of art school. I mean, it's not necessarily, like... Before, art was such a hard thing to get to know how to do. There are so many resources, books, and other artists online teaching you art for free. Like, you can find um, anatomy books uh, and classes and whatever, like, videos on how to um, improve so easily. Uh, do you remember those funny anime books like how to draw anime i don't remember but oh christopher hart yeah the dude he has a ton of books on how to draw anime and man and manga this is all i have throughout the like 2000s <laughs> youtube back then and internet before ever like guys it's so accessible to learn how to paint how to draw right now because oh my god it's it's right there you just need to google it um i could recommend i have some book recommendations um i'd say walt reed has a really good anatomy book it's like four course of anatomy and drawing and figure drawing so sometimes i look in this book to kind of refresh my memory because you need to remember certain things and um, keep certain things in mind when you draw people. Art book recommendation. I have one. Hold new one. I'm holding you one. Oh, that would be really helpful. I'm in high school and deciding if I should go or not to art school. So history time would be great. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know what? I realized that art school to art, art school, it differs. It's sometimes not always a bad experience. But the thing is, uh, it depends on the country that you live in, on the area that you live in.
because every art school is totally different and you should stick with something that is true to your character and maybe like if you cannot get in art school think about plan b thinking about like what's my plan b university where could like college university whatever like where could i go to um to kind of like if if art school doesn't work for me what what else can i do it's always good to realize that you shouldn't focus solely on one thing you should have like options even if art is really like what you love think about like other options george b bridgeman is an amazing art book mm. okay i will look into this one I only have the defense of my master's art thesis at the academy, so quitting is not a better idea at the end. Yeah, like, you should solely judge by your own situation, because, like, I feel that it's common to have a bad experience with art school, and it's common to not have a bad experience, like, you can, you can, like, choose <laughs> if you should stay or not. Oh, you live in Brazil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes um, there are other stronger universities. Like, you know, like some countries have, have great musical universities. Some countries have great art universities. And uh, you should think about, like, practically, like what you can do, what you can, what, what are your strong sides. Okay, let's sketch the OC. Um, I want to sketch them full height. Full height. I mean, studying art could be a hobby. If you if you do it professionally, I think that's when it, it becomes important to know some things. But if if it you you don't need to turn it into a career. Yeah, I'm like, I'm really glad for for people that have <clears throat> good experience with art school. I'm like, oh, you've been blessed. I have everything, like crazy dorm stories, uh, crazy roommates, uh, crazy... I don't, I wouldn't say crazy teachers. The teachers were the chillest ever, but I, I have some stories. Oh my god, I do have some stories. So yeah... Mm, I don't know. I'm like. I want to make them a little bit not too human. How how would I put it? Like, av avatar ish. Are you ever going to do story time videos? I thought about making story time videos, but like the stories that I have, they're spicy, <laughs> and um, I have a. My art school has a history of suing people and local newspapers. And I'm like, okay, if I talk crap about them online, is there a possibility they will go after me? There is one. So I'm like, oh my god. But good thing is, uh, this is an English channel and like they don't know about it. Like, they forgot about my existence. Um, so, I hope <laughs> that if I ever do a story time about my art school, that I won't be facing a lawsuit, because they sued um, local newspaper for writing, like, gossip. Um, it's not gossip, it was, like, a really serious matter, because... Trigger warning, a student attempted to unalive themselves and it got, it got, like, oh my god, like, you, you feel it, <laughs> and it, like, oh my, I cannot, it's like, it's bringing back some memories, if I start talking about this, 
Oh damn, it's like some really heavy themes of depression, like S word, uh, unaliving, uh, mental health problems. Uh, at at one point, police was involved. <laughs> Guys, it's it was crazy. It was too much. I'm sure they won't go after me, but, like, this is, like, some really sensitive topics, and I don't know how I should approach them. Also, roommate stories, like, would be would it be ethical to even vaguely describe <laughs> those stories without mentioning names or something? They don't know about this channel, they don't, um, they don't, um follow my social socials or something but I'm like yeah it would be nice if I asked pr a permission to share like um, <laughs> god I cannot th even thinking about it is just yeah I like the stories that I have are s some spicy stories guys <laughs> In a good and in a bad way. Like, I I can I can freely tell you about m my stuff about uh, what I did <laughs> because my first year at the dorms, guys, I got kicked out for drinking, yes, and a bunch of, uh, a bunch of other students students too. <laughs> but yeah, I can freely tell those facts about myself. <laughs> Because uh, that would ha that 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 happened to me. I can share like some embarrassing stories. I don't care. Like yeah, I got kicked out for drinking. In the dorms, it's like a story as old as uh, time itself. Legit getting ready for a run fair, <laughs> but got a much worse dream first lol. Oh my god, good luck. I studied animation for a year and a half, and it was definitely not for me, but I learned many things to improve my art, so I'm happy with the experience that you came out good. <laughs> Honestly, I can relate with how I got trauma and refused to speak about it. <laughs> I... I don't... I'm okay about, like, it's a question about how much of personal information you are willing to share with an audience, with uh, people on the internet, because... Uh, it can get weird, first of all. Second of all, anything you say can, can be used against you. Uh, and I'm just thinking, like, will I be okay with sharing this? Hmm. Like, I can openly talk about things that happened to me, that about, like, experience that I got through. I don't have a problem of recalling, like, painful or hurtful times and memories from the past because I've worked through them. But, you know what? It can get a little bit weird when you share about um, some some stuff that you lived through. People can get judgy. Pickle. pickle. <laughs> yeah, people can um, turn your words around. Uh, people can draw certain conclusions, like, oh, so you definitely, like, suffer from depression and anxiety. I'm like, no shit, man. And, um, I don't know, it's just, it's, there's always this thing when you want to keep personal things personal. And you don't want people, uh, making conclusions and, um, judging you for stories that you are sharing story times can like can be fun and exciting and cool and whatever but there's always a risk of people being freaking weird okay like even court horse horse husband like corpse husband yeah like dude has chronic like illness uh his voice words are burnt with acid and his voice sounds really low because of it he has pain 
he has like a lot of health complications and then people start to act weird and uh, treat him as this internet personality boy to ship with everyone like make him legitimately uncomfortable because of how freaking weird they are and I'm like if I start about talking mental health my experiences my perspectives on anxiety depression m mental health because like I can sense that someone somewhere will get <laughs> weird about it because it's okay to like you, you can have an opinion as long as you are respectful uh, as long as uh, it doesn't hurt anyone, okay, have it. But I'm afraid <laughs> of people being, like, unreasonable. The dorms. Oh my god, the crazy dorms stories? Don't get me started. The worst time of my life was in the dorms. <laughs> Poor corpse has to suffer so much in line solely because of the fact he simply has a medical condition. Um, I love when people accuse him of using filters, of trying to... It's like, it's dream SMP situation all over again. Like, when people have some expectations, people have some, some fantasies, illusions, some parasocial relationships going on with those creators and then boom they don't meet their expectations they're human they uh i wouldn't say like <laughs> sometimes yeah creators have to put on a persona in order to uh like gain audience or something they have to put put up and act uh, in order to like make people interact with with this con content and sometimes people have a hard time separating that persona from the person itself like there is a person behind that screen everything is not like black and white and you cannot fully see where this person is coming from you don't know them personally you don't know their background you haven't been like around like in the certain situation or whatever it's easy to judge someone it's not easy to think before you say stupid stuff yeah like you i'm i don't want to put on an act i don't want to um try to portray myself as something that i'm not i value honesty and sincerity and I don't want to be a persona online it's like do not perceive me <laughs> I could do that I could be like oh hello friends it's first here today we're going to blah 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 like sure <laughs> but it's not me, like, I'm, I'm not that, <laughs> I'm not that kind of scripted, I hate writing scripts, that's why, also my, my thoughts are usually all over the place, it's so hard to, like, sit and organize them, and I'm like, oh, damn, I need to write a script, yeah, make tea, make tea, feed your animals, oh, I, I, I bought some, uh, food today for my cats, they were really happy, I have two Persian cats. That's why you're such a good content creator. Yeah, I drop a video, I disappear for half a year, slash two months, then boom. All of a sudden, like, I thought about, oh, maybe I need to make a schedule for streams and stuff and do this regularly, but I'm like, nah, man. If I'm in the mood to stream, I will stream. If I'm not, mm -mm, I cannot make myself do this. You're not fake. Well, it's like, I'm, I'm honest when I'm streaming, I'm like, open to discussions and questions and all that, if it's not like too weird and personal, of course, but even, even that, you have to keep in mind that I'm like, only sharing a portion of myself, like, even if 
uh, a person was like being honest on the internet, you're only getting a small fraction of how this person is. So I appreciate that you kind of like see this. Okay, um, those are like things. Okay, you know what? This is figure drawing without anatomy book <laughs> at my table. And this is my anatomy. When I have <laughs> the book by my side, I'm like, oh, okay, that's time to remember all those muscles. <laughs> Embarrassing. Those are like some freehand drawings. Girl! Um. Thank you. Thank you for appreciating uh, the real, the real realness. <laughs> I'm like, there's a lot of content creators with personas. I don't want to have one. If you think that I'm funny, I love you. <laughs> if you laugh at my stupid jokes, I love you. <laughs> if you don't like my humor, my speech pattern, my voice appealing, that's totally okay. <laughs> like, um, also, I, like, actively battle this feeling like this thought that oh what if they don't like me girl nobody has to like you you're not a 100 dollar bill people have like different preferences i don't watch certain content creators because uh the style of their content is like not my tea and i choose w whatever i like and it's <laughs> it's totally fine to not be liked by everyone girly chill like, you cannot please everyone in this world. Like, why bother? Just, like, do your thing, have fun, and be kind. Oh, guys, like, I want to set up a Discord server, or maybe a Reddit community, but, like, I'm, I'm hesitant. But, yeah, I would love to have some, like, place, like, community tab, but on... On a social media app but yeah I'm just maybe I will need someone to be a mod to um, you know how those discord servers are I don't need to tell you so beautiful ah thank you do you play Genshin from your style I seem you do somehow oh Oh my god, <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I've been playing for almost two years. I hate this game. I love Kazuha though, and I'm waiting for Baiju. But I hate this game, okay? My eye twitches. Can we not talk about it? Also, Yo Emiya is superior to Hutao. I'm not elaborating. Straight up facts. Okay, don't awe me. <laughs> I love stupid jokes, but my friends doesn't she kind of dislikes it when I say dad jokes oh my god dad jokes are the best come on this too like the more stupid the more absurd the best like uh, I have a friend I'm like really tactile I love touching the person I like like I can fix their clothes I can um, Basically, I love hugging, okay? And she doesn't. And I really appreciate it when, like, she likes that if, like, we say goodbyes and stuff. Sh she, I can see that she's like, okay, I'll hug you. Although she doesn't like hugging, she still opens up for a hug and I'm like, bestie, thank you. What are your favorite aesthetics? I think U2K is getting to me, but lately I've been um, kind of into some ethereal, stars, cosmos, kind of whimsical, think little prince kind of vibe, some fairy tale like 
aesthetics. Sometimes I'm like into darker things and themes, but yeah, you can like clearly see it reflected in my work and illustrations. Do you like to play games in general? Indie horror Metro Divani, I want to like okay, uh, I have a dead old PC that cannot handle anything. I love Sims 3 because uh, it's what shaped me as a teenager, the life simulator, yes. Uh, when I was 18, I played The Path, I played off indie games. Um, off is the one uh, when, when you play as a, like, I had Yaoi off fan art with Batter x Zachary. Don't! Talk to me. I'm gonna embarrass myself on stream. Watch it, guys. It's so embarrassing. God. Uh, it's gonna be embarrassing. I'm gonna expose myself because I don't. God, it is so. Yeah, way off fan art. I have one where. God. Seriously. Is this one here? No. It's not. Is it? Yep, it's not. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. I know it's there. <gasps> Off fan art. Oh, I was. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? The sketchbook is so old. My scene era. You can hear <laughs> Panic at the Disco play. Uh, uh. Yeah. Guys. Off fan art. Done. I'm done embarrassing myself. <laughs> you have, like, I, I could show you my old drawings, but this would be like a call out to myself. I would love to call out my past self. I would love to roast my past self. That thumbnail not um, um, it's here. It's right there. I cut it out because I need to like a a nicer background to like there was too much crap around it, so Yeehaw. Um this paper had a little bit of texture and I love kind of doing this rendering with dry brushing. If you look long enough at those rabbits in circles, they start running. <laughs> you should do a complete sketchbook tour as a video, like all your past sketchbooks. I would do a roast sketchbook tour when, like, I will take my oldest sketchbook and roast the shit out of myself. Because, um,. If anyone is allowed to speak mean things, it's me. Like I can I can talk <laughs> like this to myself. You can't hurt me. I I I already hurt myself. Like I'm my harshest critic. Man, this is just beautiful. Thank you. I love your um kitty profile picture. How do you draw water so well? It's not water. If you look at it. It's actually individual pools of um, of blue of blue shapes. Like I have like if I say like one more one more time. Okay, if you want to draw water, if you want to draw ocean, imagine this. You know, like when there's tide and there's like I'm holding I'm holding it. So it's just 
odd shapes like and the thing in between is like like you you got me wait i have like a good drawing to show See, it's this is air bubbles and it gets lighter and white space in between is air like you know when it goes closer to to the beach so you start like with darker colors then you do a gradient and then you do those Ill irregular shapes full shapes that's how you get water. Or like this, more stylized, but still like good approach to drawing waves. I love this so much. Do you see the tiny birds? They're so tiny. I forgot where I came from once and it came back for me. Oh, you should. Mm -mm 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 came back at the same time for the draw mm -mm 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 -mm. <clears throat> never forget where you came from that makes sense oh hi hello i'm like br brain frog brain fog what kind of music do you like and do you like melanie martinez um i remember watching that album movie when she dropped her like latest album i'm not super into her music but some of the songs are good but i'm not listening her on a regular basis although she is an artist with defined aesthetic and style and i really appreciate it like she has her style she is um she's like easily recognizable when it comes to music and themes in her music, she's done a good job creating this style for herself, I guess. Yeah, her music videos can be pretty disturbing, and uh, her music can, um, like, touch, touch up on heavy themes. What's my favorite sea creature? I love sea slugs. Sea slugs are awesome. Oh, jellyfishes are awesome. Yeah, the darker the water, the deeper it is. So I think, like, the top of the hair is lighter and then it goes darker. This pencil is so thick that I'm trying to work it, work it out. Like, I'll go for this. <laughs> it's too thick. Do I have another pencil? Oh, I only like have what? Colored ones? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. About the music, I listen to lots of electronic stuff break chord, um, drum and bass, all, that's, all, the, all the things that slap hard, and Indie music, like lots of indie bands. Oh God, this is what what I am today. My brain today. Yep, and yellow one. Okay, sometimes it's just better to sketch with. Oh, 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 good. Do you listen to any live mixes? Hmm. No, I don't. I listened to Boiler Room Yaeji. I don't remember the name of the artist. Like maybe I mispronounced it, but this girl does some like amazing music. Hey, is English your first language? I know it is in your sketchbook something that looked like it was Eastern European, maybe Russian. I'm Belarusian, I'm from Belarus. English is 
not my first language at all. Have you ever tried making custom pins with bottle caps? Oh, I made custom pins, but not with bottle caps. But I like saw some my like my friend had some. They look cute. For me, they're they are too chunky. I love something more smaller, elegant. I love small pins. I love like small stuff, miniature stuff. You know, it it always gets me. Your English is really good. Good for it not being your first language. Sure, <laughs> I mean yeah. <laughs> um, I've practiced a lot. I mean. I, I practiced by talking to myself all the time. Uh, some of my friends um, talk like they have decent levels, like B1 or higher, and we can chat. I consume content uh, that's mostly English speaking, so... It's okay to suck in English. Everyone sucks in English, it's totally fine. Like. What the? I don't like this. I think you'd like Ichiko Aoba's music. Oh yeah, I like uh, Indigo Land. Um, when it comes to, are they Japanese artists? If they are, like, I love shoegaze. I was obsessed with Maximum the Harmony when Maximum the Harmony, Detroit Metal City. The good memories. I remember watching them for the first time. Uh, what is this face? Okay, I need to kind of loosen up a little bit because uh, it seems to me that I'm a little bit stiff. Um, they are genderless. I decided that this person, this OC, they are slim. They are flowy they don't have gender because why would they they're a sea creature maybe they're a sea slug doesn't matter mm, the face i'm like i will withdraw it i don't like how this turned out a little bit out of character they have like more elegant baby face i need to get into this style Japanese like pasteboard amazing Do I have a funky sticker? I have so many I kind of I stopped using them because I for oh Ooh, I have these perfect I Don't like your face don't distract me Um, I love, like, oh, I want to stream, I want to draw, which means I want to chat about everything all at once. Should we keep human ears or make them pointy? Pointy ears or human ears? Chat. How should we do it? Maybe fins? What about pointy ears with fins on them? Pointy, pointy. Gotcha. Hmm, let's see. Yeah, you're right. Pointy ears with fins. Shh, like, look, look, awesome. Awesome? <laughs> awesome. Oh, yeah, English is my, my first la language, yeah? Like, like this? Like fluffy? Yeah, maybe. Um, they have like... If this is on this side, if I turn them, doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Um, I wanted 
like to be curly and to have volume. Like, it's... Hair is not hair, it's actually waves of water and they're thick. And they have this quality to them. Oh yeah, like, sketching with pen sometimes is so much better. I can feel my lines better. It glides off this paper effortlessly, so. Surprisingly, I actually have pointy ear and today I found that 5% of people have them. Oh, you're special. Oh, I, I wish I had pointy ears as a kid and pointy <laughs> teeth. I was like, oh, you have pointy teeth. I want, I want pointy teeth too. Sketching with pen supremacy. Let's go. Um, those horns, they are like coral reef material they are not a solid piece of horn <laughs> i don't know how to explain it i have a point in mind and it's on the part that bends inward where do i get her sketch pads do you recommend any type i live in eastern europe like and i have access to some um materials that Americans don't or like if you're from Germany, France or like Eastern European country that uh, Like maybe I can uh, recommend you some sketchbooks, but generally I would say that art creation sketchbooks are good They're by um, They're made by royalties If you see these bad guys Royal Talents Art Creation Sketchbook. Get them, they are pretty decent. They can hold different mediums well, be it gouache, watercolors, any other stuff. Like, they can be really nice. Like, those are watercolors and pencils. Um, see, like, it dries in different funky ways. You can draw on both sides, it won't bleed. Don't grab them if you draw with alcohol markers because they will bleed. Those are for watercolors, gouache, some graphic materials like inks, brush pens, and all that other stuff. So yeah, those are like really decent for acrylic markers for Posca's. Uh, the paper like it's creamy. It's not entirely white, which I really like. So I totally recommend you getting art creation sketchbooks. The only thing that I don't like about them is hardcover. I had trouble with finishing the sketchbook because it was so big. I honestly gave up at the end and I cut out some pages to use this paper elsewhere. But yeah, um, I was struggling when I realized like, oh, I got tired of this one. Like, I want to finish it. Uh, right now, so. And I like sketchbooks that have soft covers because they're more bendy and flexible. Hard covers sometimes are not comfortable to work with, for me personally. If you come across this, grab it, no questions asked. It's great. It has really nice paper that, especially like if you like pencils, get it it's um clary fontaine uh clary fontaine flying sketchbook fly, flying sketchbook flying spirit sketchbook oh my god it's french and it's handmade in morocco sounds fancy but it can be really affordable uh, um, you can you cannot see the name, but it's Flying Spirit Sketchbook, and yeah, it's so good. Oh my god, I had so much fun. I'm planning to start a new sketchbook, and I will start 
Larry Fontaine Flying Spirit Sketchbook. Maybe you can get it off Amazon, maybe you cannot, I don't know really. But if you come across this sketchbook, get it. It's great for watercolors, pencils, inks, whatever you want to draw with. Um, Honestly, like, I dumped a whole lot of watercolor in it. And you know what? It hold like, it was fine. Like, where is the spread? Wait. Yeah, I just dumped a bunch of watercolors here. Did this, and then doodled um, silhouettes when it, where I saw them. This paper? Bro, it didn't care at all. It's like, oh yeah, I'm fine. Like, it didn't even bleed. It didn't even scrunch. It's, it's great. Um, yeah, when I'm finished with this one, I'll do a quick sketchbook tour to kind of share it. It's it's a tradition. I finish a sketchbook, I do a tour. Santa helper Lamau. People used to tease me for my ears calling me Santa's helper. That's adorable. I would get back at them saying, oh yeah, I'm Santa's helper, you're not getting shit for Christmas, only coal. <laughs> Damn, they're like, you had a really good opportunity to come back. I live in Morocco? Oh my god, get Claire Fontaine paper? P paper? Bro, I was about to say I'd never find these. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Is it sunny in Morocco? I envy you because it's cold as fuck here. Are you, mm, just a random question. Where do you get your washi tape? AliExpress is my friend. Damn. I should have went <laughs> to their house and brought them cold. <laughs> yeah. I got a lot of stickers and stuff from friends. Uh, because they are artists, and uh, they are great artists, and I get a lot of stickers from from them. It's kind of cool here. We actually have snow in some areas. Oh, okay. I don't envy you, but yeah, you can get those sketchbooks totally. Clary Fontaine, like it's a French paper company, and I bought. A, like paper paper pad I drew with gouache on it never find these either and I live in France Dude, are you all for real I'm back hello They, them. Um, I will write this down. They, them. This OC is, a, is like a sea creature. Reject gender, embrace ocean. They are literally water. 90% water. Merci. Uh, oui, oui, mon ami. Je m'appelle <laughs> Lafayette. Those are the only French words I know. I butcher them. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Croissant. Baguette. Oui, oui. Am I French enough? <laughs> Guys, rate my French. F from 1 to 100. How bad <laughs> it was. Be honest, okay? Roast me. Oh, do I know Hamilton? We dated. <laughs> Alexander Hamilton. My name is Alexander Hamilton. This picture of Lynn Manuel Miranda biting his lip is haunting me. I'm trying to forget it every day, but I can't. I fall asleep and I cry. <laughs> 
I had Caesar kid face. I'm so sorry. <laughs> mm, maybe I should I should draw Heathers in U2K style. What do you guys think? Is this a good topic for a video? Also, Legally Blonde is hands down my favorite musical. I totally should. Okay. Uh, Heathers, but I, but I make it you 2 k Keep it positive. Oh no, Heathers, and maybe we should do Legally Blonde. Legally Blonde is you 2 k already. Like I don't need to make it you 2 k Just random idea. But what if the character had no limits to the water and could reach any depth without a problem? Mm -mm. Okay. So the general concept that we are getting here, they have this uh, connection with the ocean, tides, and ocean creatures. They act as a, an ocean protector. They drive away fish uh, and uh, scare away people that try to harm the ocean. Hmm? French certified. 10,000 out of 10? Oh my god. You're so generous. Mary, see me. Emily in Paris be like, I live here. I don't bother to learn French whatsoever. Gay. Oh yeah, repeat. <laughs> Good times. I am cover for you no more. Yes, I'm gay and European. This is so true, I'm gay and European. God. I love musicals. I'm learning French currently and it is whack. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen this guy um, in shorts that does this uh, really fun comedy things about like languages deciding on words and how they are pronounced and if they make sense or not? Like, French. Ooh. I have an idea, and <laughs> there's like some something really ridiculous. I love him. Heol, <laughs> Heol, <laughs> it's so funny. I'm in fourth grade. They made us learn French. Oh my god, torture! It, like French. Can we agree? It doesn't make sense. Especially like. Writing it down? The sounds? What do you mean? This is silent. In fourth grade? Yeah, um, in my school, in local schools, they teach English. Like, I studied three languages. Russian, unfortunately. Belarusian and English. Like, I know three languages. It wasn't that bad, but people kept laughing at the words, so they <laughs> were torture. Bro, for real, some letters are just there to be pretty and aesthetic. That's the point. French is like, mm, I want to be special. French is that girl that writes her notes um, and like with highlighters and add stars and stuff. <laughs> How do you live stuff. I wish I could do that on my channel. You just go and there's like this symbol of like on YouTube. Just get your phone, get your um phone holder, whatever, set it up. Don't forget to charge. And boom, voila, hit stream. Like upload and like start live. It's like it's that easy. French is aesthetic period, for real. French, like, I love how French is difficult and, um, you know what, what, what language is difficult? Um, Japanese. And Japanese people, if you, if you say arigato or something like this, they're like, oh, oh, your Japanese is so good. You're so good at Japanese. Oh my god, you're so good. Do you know arigato? Oh my god, you're great. If you dare to speak 
French to French person, they will annihilate you. <laughs> they will like, shut up, just, just don't. <laughs> Oh, you have school? School is priorita prioritize school, okay? Go to school. Mm. This stream, I will keep it, I will save it, don't worry. Although I showed some incriminating <laughs> drawings uh, of Yahweh fan arts haunting me. Uh, you have albedo? As your profile picture, I believe that you are smart, and you are smart enough to not be preparing, right? 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 <laughs> I'm so sorry for everyone like, who has exams. Chill. The best thing that you can do is like calm down. If you're nervous, you will like, you will die. <laughs> Good luck. I'm sending. Good luck. You know what? I never prepared for exams. Really hard. I never was on that exam grind. Because I am gay and I believe that I can do anything if I put my mind to it. No, no, really, I just... I'm like, sometimes it just trigger the right memories, the right knowledge in your head, like, oh, I remember teacher talking about this, boom. You're smart in your own way, grades are just rigid. Yeah, it's like, you have this limited amount of time to learn certain information, and then you have to kind of repeat it to show that, yeah, I really know what I'm talking about, it's stupid. If you don't need this thing in your practical life, you will forget it. As soon as you're out of school, girl, one beautiful day without using tangus, contangus, and cosinus and whatever. <sighs> Math, am I right? Oh, Miss Love, you're welcome. Like, we have a pretty chill chat. I love it. It's not going like three kilometers per hour. I have. <laughs> I have time to talk about whatever I want. Not prepared at the very least. No, I'm not smart. <laughs> no, oh my god. <laughs> I remember when algebra started, there were numbers. But what are those letters? Aren't we supposed to work with numbers, guys? I I remember how like stupid I felt in math class because math was so intimidating, this big thing. And I always thought that oh no, I'm not smart enough and I'm stupid. I was even scared to to like to work on it because I thought that no, I'm just so stupid. I cannot do it. <laughs> okay, what? Mm. You can do math if you study it, like, properly, without the pressure, the peer pressure, oh my god, when teacher is, like, asking you in front of class, and everyone is looking at you thinking you're a dumb bitch, but you're just so anxious, uh, your spirit leaves your body, and you're thinking that I will never recover from this, I will die of embarrassment, I hated it so much. In my, like, deep inside, I knew that if I would calm down and just think for, for a second, I could solve this problem, I could, I could, like, do it, but the pressure and the anxiety was so strong, I would just shut down completely. I hated math class for this reason, and the teacher, she kind of saw that I was super anxious, and she didn't, like, touch me much. I could do some simple stuff, but if it was something hard on a test, I would like cheat or, or uh, sit with someone who's better than me at math. As simple as that. 
homework stream. <laughs> no, do your homework while watching stream. How do I draw this thing? Like, you know, uh, you got me. He's a, he's a sea creature. <sighs> Whatever. I used to hate math, but my new math teacher made it so easy to understand. It doesn't make me feel dumb for not understanding. And she made me actually enjoy math. Yeah, I know, right? I think about it. I think about, like, oh, if, if there were not no, like, intimidation factor around math class like there were in school and the teacher uh, she would get mad she would scream at you she would say are you stupid why it's taking you so long like she would legitimately uh, um, scold you at the front of the class and when she rounds ra when she ran out of patience she would say oh my god go say this stupid piece of shit and would, and would, like, ask a kid, a smart kid, to solve the problem in, in front of the class and, and say, Oh, this is how it's done, you stupid dumb fucks! And I'm sitting there, shaking, crying, throwing up. My math teacher told me I should just wear a green uniform and go work in a factory. Your math teacher is a stuck-up piece of shit that is supposed to teach you, not make you feel dumb. Their work is to explain, and if they suck at explaining, uh, and if they like, if they suck at breaking down complex um, themes for students to like to digest, if they suck. At teaching some teachers like let's be honest suck at teaching point blank period <laughs> like how am I supposed to know everything already like you're supposed to teach me right uh, the some teachers get the satisfaction of humiliating uh, kids uh, and they kind of um, live live out this thing where, in order to uplift themselves, they put down kids and say really hurtful, mean things that can stick with you for life. Whatever a teacher has ever said to you, especially if it was mean and hurtful, you, like... They are hurt, not you. I remember I was always quiet, sitting in the back, doodling or drawing, drawing or whatever, and I would get like scolded for not listening, or whatever. And I'm like trying to explain to a teacher that, oh, this happened so much. Oh my god, I would sit there and draw and doodle and have fun and listen to the teacher. And then they would get mad at me for silently doodling and listening to them explaining a new subject. And they would say, you, back there, drop your pen, what I just said. And I would retell everything they'd say in great detail. And they were like, okay, little bitch, what are you mm, do?" And I'm like, yeah, I'm actually... <laughs> I can do two things at a time. I can listen to you, and I can draw, and I can remember. It helps me focus. <laughs> this happened so many times, oh my god. Yeah, math teachers suck or are awesome, like science teachers too. Whoa, your teacher should have gotten fired. Nah, it's the way it is in Eastern Europe. You're publicly humiliated for 11 years, and then you have to, like, enter university, or you're a human garbage piece of trash. Teacher publicly humiliates student life. No clickbait. Yeah, really. <laughs> I don't know why people who hate kids decide to be a teacher. Yeah, for real. I have never met a good physics teacher in my, in, like, I, I did. I had a great physics teacher. That's horrible. I had six missing assignments in class once, and my 
And so teacher yelled out that I had said missing assignments and I was so freaking embarrassed. This is the worst thing I can do. How can, like, you cannot m motivate a student by shaming them. It doesn't always work. Ugh. This year's math teacher is nice though. Sometimes I can't keep up, but like he doesn't make fun of me. Bro, how do you like get good teachers? I got good and bad teachers both. In school and in art school. I don't know we can draw and listen at the same time. Yeah, like for real. I don't exactly get in trouble for drawing and listening, but they do tell me to put it down. I'm like, I'm not interfering with you teaching, I'm not making loud noises, I'm not distracting other students, I'm just sitting there doodling with a pen. Chill, bro. Actually, when I look at a drawing I drew while listening, I remember what I was listening to. Yeah, like, it helps to tie this down. Like, you create this associative memory, like, I use it a lot. Especially in our class, when we were talking about paintings and stuff, we would have tests where there would be a painting for like five seconds and you have to write down the name. And uh, I would do, in art history class, they show a painting and I do a rough, funny thumbnail. Um, and I actually remember the name by remembering that Next, to the name of this painting, I wrote, like, I wrote the name of the painting and there's, like, a silly little doodle next to it. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember this one. I can pay attention without music and most of my teachers won't let me. <laughs> Those are the class unveiling. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry to hear this. Shaming students don't work, it just makes everything worse. Yeah, mental health plays a big part with work. Bro, there's a kid in my class who is one year younger than me and he is so annoying. And he interrupts the class and never listens, but he doesn't get in trouble or doesn't get told to pay attention. As a teacher, uh, I would scold him. I would say that if you are not willing to learn, don't stand in the way of others who are trying to learn. Shut up and leave class, please. There are students here that actually want to listen. Like, this is really effective. <laughs> this, those words are the only words that made those annoying kids who disrupted the studying process shut up like you are not a center of attention you are not you are not like the clown of the class it is not your time to be funny entertain something and interrupt me as a teacher and i'm teaching and other kids maybe want to know something if you don't get the fuck out <laughs> It can be damaging, but sometimes, like, especially with teenage boys, this happened so much when I was in school. They would constantly throw fits and try to disrupt the lessons. Color theory is easy, man. Like, <laughs> color eight paper for two hours. Try coming up with different funny color combinations. Complementary. Uh, like, there are so many ways to have fun with color theory class. I was looking through old sketchbooks and remember the video I was watching. Oh, I'm in color theory class. <laughs> Don't die, please. I'm just... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How did you learn to draw? Are you self-doubt? Um, I had, prof like, art school education like three years in total um i had um uh, i had as a kid i went to the art studio and the format of art studio was that you come to that place it, it um 
the big factor was that it was cheap and accessible. The teacher was great. She was like, okay, you bring your own materials, but there's a space, there are desks, you can drink tea, chat, and generally you would start your own projects and she would help to guide you. Like, oh, like if you had trouble with perspective, if you had trouble with drawing something and expressing your ideas, she would just aid you a little bit. She won't tell you what to draw or how to draw. It was a really natural, cool process and there were a lot of other kids and I went to the studio all throughout um, that awkward phase when you are like not middle middle school but a little bit closer to high school. Like I'd say like six six seven 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 eight or sevens like throughout seven eight nine like for three years from sevens to nine grade i went to this art school twice a week and it was great um yeah art school i mean art studio it was really accessible And then when I entered um, art school, oh my god, guys, hell on earth. I also have like, I was studying two degrees at once because uh, education system here suggests that if you're studying graphic design, yeah, I studied graphic design, you must also study uh, psychology because you're a future teacher and I have some um uh, teaching teaching degree stuff i don't know how to explain it because they teach you how to teach kids in schools and um uh, before we would have um those practice lessons so how this works they teach you how to teach kids and then they're like hey you're going to this public school and to this art school to teach a lesson. They give you a, a theme and you come there and you have class with those kids as like substitute teacher. And then they grade you on how good you did as a teacher and see if you can teach. Uh, some kids would imagine shy artist uh, students being told that, hey, you go to public school and teach kids. Some were dropping out just because of this. So, yeah. Hi, huh, from Austro Aust Australia. Australia? Australia. Hello, man. Yeah, uh, I had great time. I had a blast. Everyone was like, wait, did you get 10 out of 10 for the for the teaching practice, and I'm like, duh, <laughs> you bet I did. I had like a really easy time connecting with students and actually helping them improve drawing. I was like, guys, whatever you're doing, stop doing, like you're not doing it right. Uh, and I would show them like, this is how you're doing it. Like, oh my God, I'm actually getting this right. And I was like, told ya. <laughs> It was fun. It was, um, the only trouble that I had is, like, getting to the place where the lesson would be held. I'm like, oh no, I have to go, like, really far away on a bus on a cold, rainy day. But if you don't show up, man, you're cooked because they schedule those practice lessons with uh, schools in advance. And it's really a pain in the ass to reschedule your practice lesson with real human kids. So. Um, I would, if I'm not telling you spicy stories, I would, I could tell you why I quit. Because um, I would study, like for three years, I would study six day a week from 8 30 to 4 or 5 in the evening 
I would have from six to eight hours of of like classes every day and <laughs> it was horrible <laughs> it was too much I thought that if I don't quit I remember my uh, my art teacher saying oh there's a cool international project do you want to participate in it it's really cool cool we're doing like illustrations for a kids book it will be published your illustration style is really nice uh, please participate and I had a shit ton of homework and I needed to do so many things and teach that teacher was really they were nice and they wanted like the the best for me and they were insisting that I do those illustrations and every time I met up with them on the corridor or something they were like oh the, how are those illustrations going for, for the book and I legitimately would break down over this I remember sitting in the dorm room on, on, on the bed holding a sketch pad trying to squeeze something out of myself and I would start crying bawling because I couldn't do anything I was so exhausted, like, it was a combination of studying, f like, six days a week for eight hours, to go to the school, I would take a bus, and, like, the, the, the time to get to the school is, like, 40 minutes, 40 minutes, like, roughly an hour, two hours. No, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Eastern Europeans art school are hell on earth. Sounds like torture. It was. A lot of people quit. Uh, some people like, I legit, I'm not kidding. People would say like, oh, I bet, I bet that this girl would snap. Because it was a given that every two or three months seniors or freshmen or like people who were studying like it was a given that someone is like having a mental breakdown like having a mental break it's uh it was horrible the amount of depressed overworked burnt out seniors that i've seen that don't even by the end of the school don't even enjoy doing art it's ridiculous like you look at them and they are swimming through the corridors like dead fish it was scary i like i was i could oh my god it's um, let me gather my thoughts um i was thinking about well i can push through it i have like just a half a year left i can i can do it i can push through it i can finish this like and at some point, I realized that, no, I can't. I couldn't. And I decided to go back home. Because, oh, yeah. I didn't want to burn out this way. Like, I didn't want to lose my passion for art. Because when you're crying over thinking that you cannot make it and uh, the pressure that the school puts on you was so much I felt like I would break down at any given mom moment I felt like I would easily like having I could like start crying you're like you're just trying to get through it but it's so hard you have assignments you have subjects that you don't even like but you have to study and you have exams and legit guys it was it was so much and it's a really common story of um people quitting Hello, Aoyama. 
it's a different kind of pressure when you know the teacher just wants the best for you, but they're putting way too much on you. Yeah, like, and uh, because I've put, I've participated in different uh, out of class projects before, and it went great. And they like, oh, we like your style of illustration. We like your work. We want you to participate here and I'm like no like we want you to represent the school and stuff it's a lot of pressure uh, like academic pressure that they put on you and uh, my favorite part is like when you struggle with projects with assignments with everything and there comes the time to evaluate your work there comes the time when when they have to give you grades and I felt like crap because uh, my mental health started spiraling my energy everything like I like you live alone you have to cook clean buy materials you have to look after yourself like no one is helping you leave okay you have to keep your things together organize and blah 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 you have to buy groceries and uh, you have to uh, do laundry and you have to do assignments and you have to and you have to and you have to and um of course quality of your work and assignments when you're this print out and overworked drops and the most hurtful thing that could happen happened is when you gather last bits of strength to finish the project or assignment and they say that you and they know that you personally you could do better that you are capable of greater things and they are disappointed with the result and i'm like well i want to jump out of the window thank you and you're like i gathered all that it was in me like my last brain cells were fighting to finish this project and like and you're telling me what I'm doing is not enough. Okay. I know that I'm capable of, like, of, of greater things. I know, like, I can do better. But, like, right now, this is what I can do. This is all that I can give. And they're like, mm, girly, we're disappointed. And I'm like, guys, <laughs> what about my health and well-being? Like, fuck it. You have 16 subjects in each and every one, you have to perform 100%. I'm like, I'm going crazy, actually. I'm quitting. Um, the thing is, they are perfectly aware that um, students have m mental health. And students have life outside of art school. And students need to have time to rest. Because everyone needs time to rest. If you are constantly under stress and pressure and uh, you cannot, like, work through art this way, like, they perfectly aware of that. The thing that they do, we were lectured by this one um, lady. She wasn't even like, an, an art teacher, but she would come and just scold students because... I'm, like, repeating this word for word. I remember this. Um, this happened, like, when we first entered. Everyone was gathered for um, dorm check, lecture, whatever, because they would actually go into the dorms and see how the students were doing, see if the dorm is clean, like, control you. Legit, she said, I come to the dorms after classes to check if everything is alright and you bitches are there sleeping. You shouldn't been sleeping after you finish um, after the day like at art school is finished. You should go back to your dorm, eat, rest half an hour and then do your assignments. And I'm like, girly? Sweetie? As soon as the last class bell rings i'm out you cannot control what students do outside of the facility get off our asses and she would 
uh, say that we were lazy, everyone is lazy, ungrateful, bad time management. I'm like, I have one day off. One. I have 16 subjects. Most of them have a shit ton of homework. Girly, one day off. Where am I supposed, like, when am I supposed to leave? My life. When am I supposed to rest? And, uh, yeah, bad time management. You bitches are stupid and cannot manage your time correctly. Like, students who were, like, I lived with, um, with, uh, my group mates in the dorm. And I'm telling you, to keep up the straight A, uh, student um appearance she would sacrifice sleep she would sacrifice um everything to keep up with the pace she would stay overnight she would pull all-nighters she was constantly stressed that oh yeah i need to do this assignment and this assignment i need to do this 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 and this all that she did when she came home, um, actually, after I've had experience the dorms, I've decided that it's not for me. And me and my groupmate, we were living together, the three of us in one flat, we were sharing a, a flat. She was constantly studying. The consequences? Oof guys it was it like it was not worth it she was so burnt out all the time she was i wouldn't say she was so anxious you know the straight a student she had to keep her appearance and it was destroying her and it was really sad to watch okay i'm reading the chat get ready Hello, I just had my first class, and the texture of those sketches look nice. It's a different kind of... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was forced to draw cards once, and I was bad at drawing modern cards, so I had a mental breakdown. I'm so sorry. I, I, I so feel you. Really? I always hear art school are better outside of America. No, no, no. Eastern Europeans art schools. Hell. European art schools? maybe better but eastern european mm -mm, girly no you don't want they don't want to go there um the character is so pretty thank you depends i don't want to study art in art school or anything like that so i won't feel like drawing is a task rather just a hobby i love you know yeah that's the good approach mm -mm, welcome back the illustration oh thank you thank you thank you i'm like going to color it soon i'm preparing for art college right now do your little investigation if you have an opportunity to go there and see the teachers or ask students or anyone who is actually studying there how it is do it be a detective, figure this shit out. If you enter and it's shit, getting out like can be troublesome. Oh, like having kind people around you is actually so helpful. Yeah, they were constantly controlling us, but some students were not, uh, some students were minors, and if Miners live by themselves in the dorms like you know shit shit happened a lot and no joke like um, Yeah, I remember um, A story that There was a checkup as usual and some girl got really really drunk and she threw up and that um, she was saved because she like Oh my god, like, she could die because of choking, you know? Yeah, wild things, so...
Like, they were checking for a reason. Because, like, there are minors, freshmen, students that come, that, like, they live with their family and they come to the dorm and they, they start drinking. Oh, those are pencil brush pens. Um, watercolor Japanese pencil brush pens. They're great. Thank you. It's just, just a little doodle. Yeah, it was creepy, but sometimes it would it was necessary. I would lose this. Mm, okay. Mm. Yeah. Determination, but I wish they would take a break. I love you, Norman. You can be, like, if you're not sure what you want to draw, experiment. But try different styles, techniques, materials, whatever. Like, you will eventually figure out what you like. Hi, hey. Thank you. I will, um... I don't like this one, so I will keep this like this. I will add some color and maybe some aesthetic details information here. Yeah, those. This is Sea Keeper. Can we call them Sea Keeper? What should I call this OC? I have no idea. The hardest thing I like, I can come up with a story, with a concept, with with looks and stuff. But when it comes to names, I'm like, oh, how 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 should I do? This? Yeah, this is an OC of mine. Okay, and they are kind of sitting. I'm not sure if the legs are right. Maybe I should do fins on the side of their legs. I need to do a little body sketch and decide where I want fins and stuff. I agree, naming is so different. Quarry? Like coral reef? Hmm, maybe. It sounds nice, why not? I know, choosing names is hard. Serena? Mm, I think that I want something more neutral in terms of gender neutral since um, it's a creature and it's they them. I want something that is kind of... Um, you get me. Mm -hmm. I will write down some of your suggestions. Cory, like, yeah, coral. Cory, I like Cory too. It's cute. It's like, it sounds round, you know? <laughs> I love cats. I cannot read this. Thank you. <laughs> I love your suggestion. By the way, I absolutely love the way you draw, honestly. The lines and colors and everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I had a lot of free time when I was a kid and I was alone by myself a lot. And I was drawing a lot. I will pull out my old anime drawings. I will show you guys. We <laughs> Seriously, there are so many silly... Sedna? Sedna. I love it. Like, it has this C ring to it. Okay, M Milo or Milo reminds me somehow of Lilo and Stitch. So that's a really cute suggestion. Bay? Oh. I'm so sorry. Bay is basic, but a nice suggestion. Like, is C bay? Okay, um, the legs, they're fine. 
You draw very beautiful. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay, so, so far we got Beanie. We got Ew. Corey Milo. Uh, Sedna. I like these three. Sudden. What if it was sudden? Sudden? S something. My first time catching the stream. Yay! I do this gesture a lot. I know it's like Hawaiian. It means like a it's a good gesture, but it's just my hand. <laughs> I don't know. It's fun. What am I? A beach boy? A surfer boy? Hmm. I don't like the music. Can we can we change to something a little bit more fun? Ah, something more fun. What would be more fun? Actually, this is alright. Yeah, names are the hardest part. Maybe I will I will search some um ocean terms mar marine biologist thing. Okay, I'm like I need to search for good names. Your thoughts on Yodi game. What is this? Wait. I'm not I'm not familiar with 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 this Yodi game. What what is it? I don't know what is it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> they do silly silly stuff, silly wads. I prefer video essays on obscure topics. Bay is bay sick. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to be mean. I'm not a meanie, I'm probably just... That was too good of a punchline to miss. Elvin or Duna might be nice names. Duna, I have like this association with desert. But Elvin, I like this one. I'll write this one down. Do you watch any animes? If you do, have you watched Chainsaw Man? I'm going to cry right now. <laughs> yeah, I saw it. I love the style. I love how it was done. Although I don't dig the characters. I'm kind of past this impressionate teenager stage. You know, when you watch an anime and they're like, Oh my god, it's so cool, it's so edgy, it's so not like other animes. And I'm like, way past this. And I love... Um, I adore Samurai Champloo. This is my favorite anime ever. It's great. The soundtrack, the plot, the characters. <sighs> and uh, Cowboy Bebop. Um, what else? Hmm. Mushishi. Um... Mononoke with this hot medicine seller dude. Damn. Like, this is the things that I love. And, um... Monster? Are there any, um... Uh, Dr. Kenma simps out there? Hi. Hi. I appreciate your taste. Like... Yeah, it's a shonen anime. What else it can be? Like, it, it didn't touch any strings in my soul it didn't make me feel anything like yeah it's pretty that's it you know what doro hey doro is way better it's cool it's awesome and edgy it has gore it has magic it has great plot and great characters and it's way better than chainsaw man okay i'm based i choose doro hey doro over chainsaw man Every day, any day. Ku Hashida mm, did an amazing job. I read Doro, like, I, I... I want this manga on my shelf, but it's really hard to get, and I'm just... I want Doro Hey Doro. 
physically <laughs> on my bookshelf. I want to look at it. I want to eat it. <laughs> so yeah. You're getting the Dorohidora art book? Okay. Um, DM me your address. I'm stealing it from you. <laughs> I, I know, right? I'm like other girls. <laughs> I respect myself, okay? My body is not a trash can. <laughs> like, I have nothing against Chainsaw Man. Like, it, I don't care about it. That's the thing. If you're impressed with it, if you like the plot, if you like the characters, and uh, you go, like, if you enjoy it, I'm, like, 100% cheering for you. I'm, like, I'm glad that you can enjoy it. But I personally can't. Um, I have my opinion on Chainsaw Man. If you don't agree with it, if you think it's great, like, me talking crap about Chainsaw Man, uh, do not take it personally. Like, tastes differ. It's totally, like, you, you don't need to defend it with your life. Like, some people get personally offended, but it's my opinion on the media because they personally connect with um, whatever they're watching or reading. And sometimes when you talk uh, badly about media other people enjoy, they take it personally because they heavily associate themselves with those like animes, books, games, whatever. I'm totally she like you can say like Doro he Doro is shit and I'm like okay like I don't like I like it. It it like it doesn't mean that the person is attacking me personally or attacking my taste because having arguments about taste in media, music, food, clothes, uh whatever is so freaking dumb. Oh, this is cringe and this is not cringe. I'm like Whatever. I am cringe. If you think like Dora Hidori is cringe and you think that enjoying this is cringe, like, okay, I can live with that. Your opinion doesn't change my experience. Like, <laughs> duh. Hi, hi everyone. Hi, Pikachu. <gasps> Uh, your art reminds me of which hat as a year. I should read it. I should do tons of fan art. Thank you. I like I love this light elegant styles I'm so glad it reminds you of this beautiful manga I wanna you know like when you consume avoiding when you consume when you avoid consuming new media because you don't have the energy to consume new media and you rewatch something for the tenth time yeah that's me The Vi Vivanos animations? No, I haven't. Um, what are those? Enlighten me. I like Chainsaw Man mostly because of the designs of the demons and how the author directs the manga. It is a really film wide, which I love. Hmm, the manga is more dynamic. As I heard, a lot of Chainsaw Man uh, fans were upset with the studio. Because they chose this animatic approach. F film. Film. You get it. And fans were expecting something more shonen, something more dynamic. But it was paced in a way that there were slow, beautiful moments, plot, and blah blah blah, and then dynamic. Whatever. And then, like, you know. So, like, I know that. Japanese fans of Chainsaw Man were upset with the way the anime was. Well, surprisingly, I appreciate the anime direction more because I haven't read the manga. Hi, it's me. Oh, hey, Aaron. Are you doing good? Any updates on the server? <laughs> I will set it up. I will. I promise. I'm on it. Do you watch Cosmic Spectrum art? Just wondering. I oh, know. Um. Will you ever make an art book? 
Oh yeah, I really wanted to make a zine or art book to like compile my work and illustrations, but I have this problem that um, over time I look back at my work and uh, because I have some flowy changes to my style and I want everything to be cohesive, I'm looking at all of those different drawings and thinking that, oh no, this won't like look good together. So, uh, I just, I know that I, I should do an art book, maybe sketchbook design or something, but I want it to be really nice and cohesive and I'm like, mm. so yeah, I'm like, I think I'm over overthinking this part, but yeah, I, sh I should make an art book. Maybe I should gather like my blue illustrations or whatever illustrations or separate it into different parts and sections like sketchbooks and blah 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 and everything. Just need to give it a little bit more thought and playing out. How is your hand? Is it better? Um, yes and no. Uh, I just really watch it uh, when it comes to lifting something heavy because if I overwork it slightly it starts hurting and I need again to go to the doctor but I'm afraid <laughs> and um, I think I'll go with a friend when they will be free also I'm afraid that I will need surgery and right now like I can hold a brush it's light enough like it, it's not hard to draw I like, my hand, when I draw, is resting against the table, it's not taxing, like, on my hand, but as you can see, the bump is really, uh, is really there, and I'm afraid to fix my hand, I need a surgery, and I will be not a, like, I'll be not able to do art, and I'm afraid of it. Like, um, you can see my other hand, like, I can move it around, like, freely, and this one I cannot... You can see that this kind of muscle here is cramped and swollen, like it's bigger, and uh, this is my hand that is perfectly fine, and this is the hand that is not. Like you see the angle at which my thirst is, like I cannot bend it this way, it's cramped. Like I do this, I can, I can feel the discomfort that there's, like it's not right in the right position so yeah it's it's okay but i think i need surgery yeah unfortunately i'm <laughs> screaming and crying like i'm also working right now and i'm thinking like oh no if i'll be unable to work this sucks so i need to save up or to plan everything carefully so, ugh. I am in misery. I think it will be okay. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like drawing with my left hand. I will cry. Bed to go, it was nice. Oh, have a nice day. Wait, oh, yeah, I'm a, uh. The art book of the author Theodora is mud and slush. I believe for me it's expensive because Brazil my Oh yeah. But um good for you for getting the sketchbook. I uh, for getting the art book because uh I got Banana Fish Angel Eyes art book. And uh yeah, it was a little bit pricey, but it's great. I not I don't regret getting it. It will stay here. What about Tobias or Jasper? Jasper like a 
mineral. Yeah. Maybe. Vivana's art? Hmm, horror animation and ARGs. Oh. ARGs are cool. What if when they do the surgery, they take your arm and take the art juice out of you? And can never draw again, crying face. Oh my god, I'm so afraid that I won't be able to hold a brush for months. I'm like, <laughs> the thought of the doctor seeing my arm is like, yep, it's a surgery. I'm like, no. Oh, it's really scary. There's, do you have any tips on background? Because I'm struggling on that for my comic. Oh, um, background. Hey, like, try <laughs> downloading Sims 4 or, or 3, I think 4 is better. Try building the environment of your comic and take screenshots with your characters in these exact positions. Like, this game has nice way of moving the camera like all around your character so if you're struggling to draw them inside a room and for it to make sense try this <laughs> i know people legit do this and it's a really funny tip to use also you can um search up perspective in comics and how to place your characters basically it's about fundamentals, understanding that there's space around your characters, kind of. Think of, when you draw, think of yourself as a camera. Bye, everyone. Oh, it's okay, Pikachu. <laughs> no, that's funny. Okay, I want to color this one. Okay. Bye-bye. Have, have a nice day, Pikachu. This paper, when it comes to watery materials, absorbs water real fast, so gotta be, gotta go fast. Gotta be quick. Going to get Instagram and show you my art and stuff about my comic. Hmm. I think I really need to make a Discord server where, like, we can share art and help each other out. Gotta activate Sonic Mode. What did you use for the line art? Oh, it's, I think, where is it? It's Micron, Pigmo Micron, Sakura Pen. Yeah, those are not not water soluble. Those are waterproof and fade proof ink. So it doesn't um, bleed. Does anyone else give their characters names like Rice Street because they can't come up with anything or is it just me? <laughs> Orange juice. That's cool. Funny nicknames. Oh yeah. Sometimes they become their names, it's really funny. Strawberry milk! Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, I love everything that has to do with sweets and snacks. Walk the doggy! I have cats. You? Oh, okay. Good. I just forgot to give my characters names. <laughs> no! Now we're... I'm like thinking, oh yeah, that dude insert specific character... characterization. <laughs> 
Strawberries are the most stylish fruit. Yeah, I love them. I have one that I call creepy motherfucker. <laughs> okay. Goofy long dude. I love this one. Is he a noodle? Once it took me more than three months to come up with a name. <laughs> the universal struggle that everyone shares. Creating an OC, smiley face, giving them name, sad face. Do you like Vincer and Newton ink? I think the pigments... I like their pigments, but it's my first time using ink, so I'm kind of struggling. Hmm, Vincer and Newton, I kind of think they're semi-professional. I haven't tried inks by them. Um, there are... Kohenor um, inks that are pretty decent, I'd say, but I haven't tried Windsor and Newton. I hate strawberry, but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you don't like the taste. Maybe you didn't have sweet ones. They can sometimes be sour if they're like not ripe yet. For some reason names just come to me. I like to translate words into Greek to find names. That's a big brain move you got right there. <clears throat> For me, it's the same thing with designs. They just come to me. But not their names, unfortunately. For me, I just wait for OCs to happen. When I force it, it never goes right. Yeah, same. Cat is a pretty solid name, to be honest. Yeah, I agree. I want to mix like this minty blue green color. Oh yeah, like this one. Ooh, pretty, 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 pretty. I spent hours on those baby name website, desperate to try my <laughs> baby names. <laughs> baby names. <laughs> Damn, that's pretty. I feel that in my soul. I just love their color palette. It's just my favorite color combination. They look so... I don't know. Cool? Kind? Kinda cool? I love this OC, oh my god. I wanna draw a full illustration with them, but I need to think about what paper should I use because lately I've been having like trouble with watercolor paper. Thank you. It's like a little bit dark in my room, but I hope like that you can see him clearly. Uh, maybe I have a funny sticker. Wait, do I have something beautiful to match? I have this one. It's too big. Mm, oh! Yes? Yes, oh my god. Pro tip. Glue garbage to his Facebook. Back. And I'm back again. Did I miss anything? Hmm. Where should we start? Oh yeah, naming OCs. We were talking about that. Tinkles anyone? <laughs> Just kidding, I will never become ASMR. YouTube artist. 
If I do, please find and kill me. I have nothing against ASMR. Yeah. I, I need to think about it. Perfect. You're perfect. You're beautiful. You look like Linda Evangelista. You're a model. Oh. Can I eat your candy wrapper? No. <laughs> Please don't eat it. It's bad for you. Gives me the heebie jeebies. Yeah, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. You know what gave me this heebie jeebies? Um, I don't know how to explain this feeling, but when someone does your hair or um, applies like makeup to your face and they are really close to you, but they are silent mostly, and you're trying not to move, and they're like doing something specifically like around your hair or face or whatever and you get this feeling this rush a lower your body like you're really hot and you get this tingly like ticklish feeling all of a sudden it's like it's not romantic or something like no no like not at all it's just this feeling Uh, and they breathe in your face like yeah yeah from your hair specifically like you get this Ugh. sometimes they have stink breath <laughs> no now in my comic two of the characters names are just an inside joke between me and my friend imagine um, a party where you bring out your OCs uh, all all those OCs that don't have names people everyone writes random names and you pull one out and that's it that's the name for your OC you cannot change it <laughs> that would be a funny idea <gasps> guys we could do this online spam tonita chainsaw chicken and punk there's hair brushing ASMR. Yeah. An anxiety tick? No, it's like it's it's a pleasant feeling. Like it's it's pleasant chills, but they're like different from regular chills. Like you get this bubbly, fluffy feeling in your stomach. And it feels like your scalp is like tingly. I don't know how to explain this. I just love staring at your art. <laughs> oh, Aaron, I imagine that, like, with this deadpan expression, like, I just love staring at your art. <laughs> Thank you. That's really sweet. I hope, like, it inspires you to do your own art. You do you. Characters with names that don't remotely match their energy. Oh, yeah, I love this too. Like, the character name is. Buffles, and they're a serial killer with a mask and deformed face or something. <laughs> oh, I love this sticker so much. Oh, sparkly, sparkly. Where should I put it? It's so, it's so cute. Should I layer this? I want to fit this one in here because it fits perfectly. Yeah, I think I will put it... Oh, I will, I, will, I will put it here. So shiny. Yeah, so cute. Favorite character names. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea too. Butterflies. Sounds like it's not romantic, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna sleep. Bye, birds. Have a nice live stream. Have a nice sleep. <laughs> For everyone who's still here, I think we will move on to the other page, but I want more. I need more. Mm, I have this blue one. No, it's not the right shade of blue. 
Neon green plushy venom. That's cute, that's cute. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nah. Your art is so cool. I love those emojis. They're so funny. Could anyone give me name I need to ask for an OC of mine? He's a newbie security guard at a haunted mall. Okay, guys, let's think 90s. Shy kid. Eddie? Eddie? Mm. What else? Oli? Eddie? Oli? Um. Steve? Do 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 do. Steve. Uh, where are my favorite stickers? Ryan? No, Ryan sounds like a popular kid. He's a newbie guard. Think something... Is he shy? Noah! Noah is a good one. Oh, uh, yeah. Trey? No, I haven't ever seen him straight. Don't you dare stare. Don't you dare. Okay, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Trey, I have an OC named Trey. He's a sad emo boy. Ooh, I love this sticker. It's so fitting, but it's too big, I'm afraid. But it, it would look so nice here. Mmm. Nah. Oh, I love these. <laughs> Every time. No, I cannot use them. They're too cute. <laughs> Look at this cat. I'm gonna cry. Apple. The star. The tomatoes. The kitties. <laughs> I cannot. Tiago? Donnie? Jimmy? James? Jimmy sounds like a person who's about to get murdered. The first. Oh no! Jimmy is murdered! Hudson sounds like a cop name. Timmy? Timmy in it? Nah. Greg? Greg is a froggy name. I won't elaborate. Bro, I just found this artist and this is insane. What artist? Luca? Luca sounds like gay Italian kid. Rudolf? Santa? <laughs> Cameron. Oh, Cameron sounds snatched. Clark? Clark is a cool name. It will help to know the character description. Yeah, give us give us the description. Give us the vibes. The vibes. The vibes are missing. Parker? Peter? S Elias? Elias is so neutral. Because of y'all, I have names for 17 OCs. Productive. Good job, everyone. You get a name, and you get a name, and you get a name. Names for everyone. <laughs> My nose is running, I'm so sorry for making those sounds. I hope it doesn't bother you too much. I have this beautiful hat at Lear stickers by my friend. They're so lovely. I need to read it actually. Uh, let's. I don't know. Uh, I don't have space. 
I'm gonna cry. Teddy. Oh, slay. The struggle. The struggle of not having enough space to glue down things. Um, maybe I should use some washi tape. Oh, yellow, 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 yellow. Teddy is such a cute name, Elias. Put down the sparkles. Oh, mm, I have to cut them, cut them out with uh, by by hand. Oh yeah, this doubting face, because we don't know the name yet. And I have like... This one? Oh, it's so lovely. I will add this one here. I think I need some circular thingy to balance the sound. Like one, two, um, three? Maybe, maybe like this, like this, like real, yeah. Oakley, Oakley sounds like a name of a sheltered kid. Hi, hello. Uh, I'm trying to battle my, I don't use my stickers, um, collection because they are really beautiful. And I should use them excessively, because what are they for? <laughs> Lucas. Hmm, well, he's kind of nervous and just like, I didn't sign up for this the whole time. He's pretty nice too, and he likes goats. His personality is kind of vague because I just recently created him. Lucas is cute, yeah. Lucas... Lucas loves goats. Does it sound right? Does it make sense? Alex? Hmm... Maybe? Oscar? Hmm... Finn? Hmm... Art idea. Draw, draw Steve from Minecraft. I'm so sorry, I only know, like... About Quackity. Craig loves goats. Jackson, Rowan, Harrison. Hmm. Benny. Oh, it's so cute. Riley. Riley likes goats. Riley didn't sign up for this. Hmm. I was just drawing a hand that. I ended up putting six fingers, so now it's a weird creature with those bones and wings. Ah, my voice is dying. Jeremy. Jeremy likes goats. Hi, I'm Jeremy. I didn't sign up for this. Hmm. George. Washington. <laughs> I have, like, really stupid associations with um, American names. <laughs> okay, time to, time to do my favorite part. I just do uh, my copyright. Uh, I put it here. Just like the flow of writing down those letters, like meow 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 meow. The rhythm. Of writing this thing. <sighs> you, you got me, Maxwell. Stormy. Stormy, oh, Stormy baby. <laughs> no, we're not getting to this territory. <laughs> I love the synchronization of one remaining brain cell. Carpadashians? <laughs> I got something for you. Is that a chicken? Is that a chicken? Is that a chicken? Oh, um, that poor pain palette is screaming for moisturizer. <gasps> hey guys, you want some ASMR? 
get ready. Oh, I love doing this, like, the paint is dry. The best part. Can you hear it? The sound is so good, I love doing this. Hello everyone, today we'll be doing drawing a smart. Gotta bring this closer. Listen. Okay, end of ASMR era, everyone. <laughs> yeah, like, I really like the feel of the ceramic coloring, coloring palette. Please, may I eat the paint, please? No, no eating paint. Two million OCs? Damn, that's a big family. Paint looks edible? Guys, I'm sorry to break it to you. It is not. <laughs> Does anyone else have the problem of making a C and drawing them for weeks at a time and then forgetting they exist and repeating the process? Yeah, sometimes like I look back and I'm like, oh, oh my god, yeah, I have this OC. How could I forget about them? Like, I'm so sorry, baby. And then I forget about them again. <clears throat> For two years. <clears throat> My favorite OC is Alaska. She has this really vibrant red head and is freaking cool detective. Alaska sounds like she would be cold and uh, perceptive. She sounds like she would be really calculated. Edible. Anything is edible, but sometimes only once. <laughs> this is creepy. Like, anything. Like, <laughs> wait, guys. Anything is edible if you if you're brave enough or stupid. It's a combination of both. Have you seen Cyberpunk? I think you would like it. No, I haven't. Spamtonita is literally a short, scrunkly version of myself I made in Tomodachi Life. Da Daughter of Sans dating Luigi's son is a whole story. Oh my god, this sounds crazy. We need a Discord server. I'm going to set it up. I'm going to I'm going to set it up. I promise. 
Sometimes I'll say the sky looks delicious. <gasps> the clouds, yeah. My OCs take turn living in my head rent free. <laughs> They're like, hey bitch, move out. It's like my room now. And your previous OC is like, hey, but I thought I was the favorite baby. And they like, mom said it's my turn to play Xbox. <laughs> what are you drawing? I drew my OC. We were thinking about a name for them. They are basically this sea creature. The hair is made out of wave waves of waves of water. Yeah. Um has the same energy of anything can fly if you throw it hard enough. That's right. Oh my god, correct. I hate it. It's my sworn enemy. I have so many OCs I can't even pick a favorite. I definitely have favorites. You can see it, but I'm like playfully putting hair behind my ear, like hee hee, in a silly kind of way. Forty OCs, over forty. It's not. It's not a lot. It's it's a decent number. Like it's a good number, but it's not too much. Is it just me, or is this silent? I need to figure out my computer is glitching. Are we silent? Hello, hi. Good. I see something obscurely inhuman and get huge urge to make a human design out of it. Oh, this is gonna be really fun. Like, this inanimate object, bam, you have a personality. Like, if I see a pencil that's a little unusual, I wanna draw it as a human. Mm hmm, that's a really nice way of approaching art and things, like thinking in such creative ways. All over here grinding OCs. When are you going to make your Discord server? I have 16 OCs that I want to show you. Soon. I want to, like, have this little corner on the internet where I can communicate with you outside of, like, of, of the stream. Can I eat a pencil? This one? Yeah, it's look like it look it looks delicious. It's it's big. But no you cannot. <laughs> it's not good for you. But if I had to pick a fave, maybe Sawyer, their paranormal paranormal investigator who's friends with a witch and a monster. Oh cool, does he cover for them? Oops, I get asleep. I have school tomorrow, go to sleep. You all have so many OCs. I don't have any. Oh, it's totally okay to not have any OCs. Like, don't, don't stress too much about it. For some artists, like having OCs is natural. For some, it it's not like it's not a big deal, really. A lot of some of your art I see with blues and yellows, and it's real pretty. That's the most um, common polar color combination like if you take color wheel and you draw a straight line from one color to another those opposite color combinations like those colors complement each other blue is cold um, blue is blue like and yellow and orange tone tones are warm and by putting them against each other the blue qualities, <laughs> blue color, stand out more because there's this yellow warm hue next to it, which makes the blue color pop more. They kind of bounce off of each other. Yeah. Last, I counted 120. I have a friend who has so many OCs, like over 200, it's crazy. Once they made a spreadsheet and they draw a portrait of every OC they had, it was crazy. <laughs> All of us ate a tip of a pencil, let's get, let's get real here. <laughs> the crunchy metal, do you play video games? Yeah, last games I played were 
Um, I replayed the path because when I was a teenager, I played it and it changed the trajectory of my life. And unfortunately, the path with each Windows update gets more laggy and unplayable because it's a, an old indie game. So I thought, oh shit, I want to replay it. So I replayed it. Crayons smell yummy. Yeah, they do. I finally got a color wheel. Congrats. Um, you know what? There's like you don't you ha you can ah, my brain. You can have like you can make your own color wheel. Um. Okay. Um. I'm lazy. I don't want to pull out paints, so I will be activating some old paints from this color palette if this comes out ugly and it will come out ugly i don't care <laughs> okay so easy peasy how to remember color wheel tutorial primary colors red Da, da, da. Blue and guys, what colors are we missing? I feel like Dora the Explorer. Okay, yellow. This is primary colors: red, blue, and yellow. So, color wheel. It has more colors. Where are the rest? Easy. In between those, if you mix. Blue and yellow, you will get dun, 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 green. If you mix red and yellow, you will get orange. If you mix blue and red, you will get purple. Uh, purple, purple. It will be a really dirty shade of purple because it didn't wash, didn't wash my color palette. And if you want a really clear, nice um, shade of purple, you shouldn't mix red. You should mix magenta, this uh, color that is more pink than red, to get nice shade, nice shade of purple. Okay. Those are the secondary colors that you get by mixing primary colors together. Depending on the... Um, you've got warm and cold colors. All of those colors can be warm and cold. Like, there can be warm shades of red. And there, can, and there could be cold shades of red. Cold shades of red, like, think about uh, pink. Pink is a cold shade of red. Um, same with green, with yellow, with blue, like... They both can be warm and cold. For example, there are two shades of blue. Um, <laughs> so, ultramarine is a really warm shade it's a yeah yeah um i don't know if i can show it okay and we got azure blue the difference is oh this shade is a really warm shade of blue so red and uh, let's get pink. This is a warm shade of red. This is a cold shade of, of red. Okay. And what happens? I really want to show you this, guys. Maybe it will be life changing. Color theory 101. Like, when I learned this, everything made sense somehow. I cannot open this.
guys, I think I cannot open this one. Fine. Cyan. Cyan. Is it dry? Oh no, it didn't. Okay, this one didn't dry out. <sighs> and this is a warm shade. No, look. Yeah. Okay. Hey, pay attention. It's life changing knowledge. Guys, <laughs> I'm giving out free art education. Come on. I'm looking. Mm -hmm. You're not my mom. <laughs> well, actually, yeah, I'm not. But maybe this is no eating gouache. Okay. If you mix. This is a warm shade of blue. This one is warm. And if you mix warm shade, war warm, warm, <laughs> if you mix warm shades with warm shades, it kind of will get dirty. But you're like, wait, isn't mixing blue and red give you purple yeah it is purple it is a really warm dirty shade of purple you want pretty purple color baby grab a cold shade of blue yeah and then a cold shade of red and bam, beautiful purple color. See? Now you have this beautiful royal shade of purple that you wanted. Because you mixed two cold shades together. Bam. If you mix shades um, of paints that are, how do I say it? That, like, if you mix paints and they get muddy, the undertone is warm or cold and they clash and cancel out each other. So... If you want beautiful, clear shades of those uh, in-between colors, between the primary, primary colors, you should always match the um, undertones to get the shade that you want. Yeah, you can mess around and if you want a dirtier, grayer, uh, kind of more complex shade of the in-between color, like the secondary color, of course you can like mess around and see but when it comes to mixing and getting like beautiful clear shades of uh, sad secondary colors you need to match the undertones um you think like oh blue is blue blue cannot be warm because it's blue no it can be baby every color can be warm and cold Yellow, like, think lemon yellow. Yeah, lemon yellow is cold, because it's lemon yellow. And think, um, egg white, uh, this, the part of the egg. Think about uh, sunflower, that's a warm shade of yellow. Yolk, yeah. Do you catch my drift? What about trying to paint with unique colors, like painting a tree with blue and pink? Oh, you can definitely change the the um the color of the grass. You can make it what green and purple. Like you can create color harmonies, color palettes 
it's like you're not obligated to paint the skies blue or like you can guys this drawing is done by using two opposite color and the shades of set color it's just yellow that leans more into orange and blue Th that's it like that's all you need and white of course so you can like what i do take two or three colors right and then if you want variety add white mix some shades up and then you can like create this color palette but value grouping is like actually deciding okay so the lightest part of the painting are those bunnies they are the center of attention then his face is central part then the book everything else should fade into the background uh, softly so when you look at this you pay attention to bunnies because against this blue dark blue background this they stand out and then you look at his face because everything up here is like cold and his face is this warm spot that draws you in and then you look at the book and your gaze kind of travels throughout the painting but the focal point of composition is like this part right here the top and then it's bringing down to the face like the background it's and some darker details and accents they are here to stand against the lighter tones to create this contrast that helps bring out the important details of the painting together if you want something to stand out add contrast near it how do i use to make it um sometimes wait art class oh god Sometimes, before coloring a painting, you have to do this. This is a rough sketch of the finished drawing, and you do lay out your colors roughly, and you can make several variations with different colors, and kind of um, the rule of three. You need to have the darkest tone, the lightest tone, and the middle tone. Like, think black gray and white but it's value grouping so you decide like okay my darkest value will be i will explain it here so i'm looking at this and in my mind i'm thinking okay my darkest value will be blue it will be the background the little accent details because it's the darkest color and it will stand out good the overall painting should have this lighter, fluffier, dreamy vibe. So my main uh, value will be light. I will use a lot of light moments. And I will strategically place them against uh, darker tones so those parts stand out. And then you think about middle value which is gray so uh, the middle value in this painting is the um orange and red like those orange yellow tones this is like the middle color so yeah uh usually it works kind of like this so when you're thinking about color you should also think about value of this color like how dark or how light it is oh, yeah so you can do color and value grouping and then you approach your painting with this thought in mind because i'm like okay so this is the outside he's sitting like in the cafe those are those big windows there's like fish and sea swimming there and the inside is like 
warmer with little hints of this um so the inside is kind of warm and the outside is kind of cold but with some accents like they bounce like off of each other and because it's i didn't do a good job when i tried to create space but i created like rhythmic things here of fish swimming um maybe i should redo this painting and make him look out of the window but be because he's blankly staring at the table but yeah like you can think some things out before coloring the painting i'm forever in depth of you being this helpful am i being helpful am i making sense i hope i do uh sometimes it's really hard because you get those uh, things down you get this basic knowledge and you kind of see it already like you don't have to uh, you skip the part where you think you just do naturally and it's the same when it comes to composition value grouping there like this is where art school experience is really useful because you can apply those professional knowledge and classic art knowledge to your own art and illustration. You can play around, you can break the rules. Like, if you have a character, notice how I only added pink accents to that character. The background, it has a rhythm, it has a flow. If you look at this painting, okay, fish are swimming this way. And this is the center of the composition and everything else is the background to make the character stand out i specifically did this uh, darker area here and added a little bit of this uh, accent thing here so you need to create contrast and light fish are on the darker background and dark fish on the lighter background so it can creates this rhythm creates this flow they stand out they don't blend into the background and you can still see and feel what's going on and the center is the character because he is um he is like this really lines and just like his vibe <laughs> Dark against light and light against dark. Is English language. Okay. So, when you're thinking about composition, there are three major rules. Sometimes you can avoid them. Sometimes you can um, use them to your advantage. Uh, when you have your format, your, your drawing composition and the center of the composition is not necessarily in the center avoid this avoid this so um i don't know there there are some like for real this face is the center of the composition and this is the background but is it in the center no uh, make sure that every corner of your painting is different. Avoid making it the same. Uh, don't be afraid of things going outside of your format. Don't um, sometimes give your drawings, figures, and things space. Because sometimes when you paint and you have a format and, and, you, and you paint, like, let's say, a portrait... And you try to fit everything into this format and try to make it so it doesn't touch the edges. Bullshit! Go crazy! Like, you want dynamic a portrait? Okay, let her hair like go outside of the format. It's still there, but things that you don't see are not necessarily there. You don't need to, like um put your drawings in a box it, it it can go outside like it can go outside of your format you don't see it but it's still there it's just like whatever dude um, um, um. 
okay. Like, see? This fish, right here, it still has head. You just don't see it. It's just a frame. Think of your edges of the paintings, uh, like, as a frame. You are framing a moment you want to capture. <laughs> contrast. Contrast. Are you gonna post a new sketchbook tour? Yeah, when I finish the old one. Uh, I don't know. I maybe did this sketchbook tour. I don't remember. Yeah, don't be afraid of things overlapping. Uh, I love one drawing that I did with overlapping figures. If I can find it, I will show you. Or I won't. My OC Trey, I love him so much. <laughs> this has taught me more than I have learned in the past year. I hope it will help you with your art classes because sometimes the things that they are trying to explain to you are explained in such complicated way you are sitting there thinking what the actual and yeah um but composition and um there are different ways in which you can the rule of thirds is really important because you should always have three values the darkest the middle one and the lightest this applies to composition too uh, where is that fish drawing kind of kind of can explain it better with this one because it's turned out to be so balanced okay so we have th three values we have white and shades of blue and um blue is the darkest value a light blue is the middle value and white is white it's it's a color white so it it counts and the accent color is pink cool then let's look at this thing composition wise there always should be bigger objects details middle details and smaller details three so background bigger details bigger um blatches of color i could have done everything like in those small pools but i chose to do this one unified shape here i chose to like kind of uh, gather everything together by like making larger shapes then fish are representative of smaller shapes they add rhythm, they add flow to the drawing, and they are those little accents, little small details that you need in a painting. Middle details are those middle blobs of color. Bigger details are background areas of color. And then there's the figure. Everything around the boy, everything that's going on around him is helping him stand out. The contrast of the background against his white um, figure, white silhouette, and you kind of create this feeling. And every corner of the painting is different. Here you've got this uh, area of um, a bit of, it of lighter tone. When it goes down, it becomes a little darker. There are accents, and you can clearly see the story that he's going fishing. That's it. So, yeah, you should always keep in mind that you should have uh, three values and three um, main kind of... Uh, how do I... I don't know how to explain this in English, I'm so sorry, but I hope that by showing you and kind of explaining this, you get the idea of how everything kind of works together. Does anyone know if you can see YouTube live streams later as a video? Yeah, yeah, you can. I save the streams. I put them in a separate playlist. You can rewatch my old lives and go back and blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. Everyone is being silly, but I hope that you've listened and 
<laughs> you get something useful out of this one. You're welcome! Get good grades! <coughs> the teacher is dying. My brain hurts. Yeah, that sometimes happens. Give give information time to, to settle down. I've been so invested in this little art lesson because I'm actually in art class right now. <gasps> I'm so sorry, are you not listening to your teacher? <gasps> oh my god. Oh, question. Do you have any books or tips to figure, figure drawing? Walt Reed. The dude knows what he's doing. He has a great book about figure drawing. He's excellent. It's really nice. Uh, I remember I did studies of a portrait. So yeah, guys, he 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 knows. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm procrastinating when I just don't have the energy, but your brain still wants some. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ugh, oh my god, allergies. You're welcome. Um, I can always, like, share a piece of advice about art. Like, <clears throat> I'm an art teacher. I have funny stories because I prim primarily teach middle school uh, middle school and primary school kids they are hilarious thank you i have a question yes i did a little watercolor painting yesterday and kind of messy but i love it so much good for you it doesn't always have to be perfect you had fun you succeeded my opinion <laughs> My Yara, if oh, my mom and my brother have allergies that they didn't have when they were born, and I'm scared one day I'm going to get allergies. You know what? I didn't have allergies. Then later in life, I developed allergies. Um, of like, I'm allergic to dust. I'm allergic to something that can kind of mess around with my nose and stuff. It's it's totally fine, um, and yeah, people do tend to, like, if you're expo exposed to harsh chemicals, like laundry detergent, strong smells, or things that can kind of irate your nose, you can develop al allergies, but there's nothing to worry about, like, it, it goes away, like, and the medicine is, like, just don't Take 20 Benadryl at a time is a bad idea. <laughs> oh my god. Were you a quiet kid when you were a student? Um, uh, <laughs> I kind of had a villain. A rip. It was really funny. When I was in kindergarten, I was bullied. <laughs> But I fought, like, I fought back. Uh, I used to fight all the time. Uh, I wanted to be left alone. I distinctly remember that I hated going to the kindergarten. It was really hard to make friends there. Then I made a friend, like, one friend there. And we were friends all throughout kindergarten to uh, primary school. Then we parted ways. And I was bullied in um, primary school uh, the thing is like my mom was really a young single mom struggling financially and I would steal toys from other kids because I didn't have them as a kid like I didn't have much as a kid and everything like was a struggle I remember like throughout all my life I was like so envy of my classmates, uh, of girls especially, because they went shopping to to the mall, 
they had fancy phones, they had like fancy, they had even fancy like pens and stuff and things like that. And my clothes was either giving out by someone like, you know, when parents like, oh, my kid, she grew up, but here your kid can have her clo old clothes. And so going shopping never, guys, like, I, my, my whole wardrobe was thrifted, th thrift store only, and I was bullied because of this, <laughs> being mine. It's really funny because now people compliment me on my style and say that it's unique and beautiful, and ask me about where I get the clothes, and I say that it's thrifted. <laughs> I developed um, taste, but yeah, I was bullied then when my mom like had a little bit uh, better job when she was uh, a little bit more financially stable. In middle school, I became the bully. I was the mean girl, so to say. I gathered a clique, kind of. Um, and I started to be really mean. <laughs> it didn't end up well. And then, uh, it was in fourth grade. And I remember there were a new girl that transferred to <laughs> our school, uh, to our class. And she was a daughter of a politician. She was, like, fancy. And I didn't like her, because she's better than me, or whatever. Like, fourth grade drama, guys. And and I decided that we won't be friends with you, you, you rich girl, <laughs> or something. And we were ignoring her. Like, it's fourth graders drama, but like it, it can be really damaging. And then I became the quiet anime kid drawing in the background. So yeah. Um, Ta-da! <laughs> Villain backstory. Revenge moment. Yeah, like... I didn't want to be friends with her because I was envy of her. And... This feeling of inequality between you and your peers, especially when um, you're a poor kid and everyone around you is, is like in a better financial situation and you see that you are not like those other kids, you either start to feel depressed or kind of feel um, like, you know the feeling, you start envy envying them. I remember the frustration when um, when I would ask my mom, like, Mom, I want, like, better clothes. I want new shoes. I don't want to wear clothes that were worn by other kids. I want, like, new fancy clothes. Why can't we go to the store? Why can't I have a phone? Everyone has a phone and blah blah blah. And my mom was just trying to make ends meet and explain to me that we don't have the money. And I remember when I was 14, this is the age where you could officially go to work. I got the documents and all summer break I was working because I could officially work and I got a job at 14. It was an easy job and our school were like, oh, you're now, you can now officially work. We can help you find a summer job if you want to. And I was like, I'm signing up, and usually it was like, after the summer break, everyone coming back to school, like, I went to Hawaii, like, I went uh, to sunny whatever country, like, I went to Egypt and stuff, and you're there, pale as fuck, <laughs> because all summer you worked, and I remember I had like, 14, I was 14, I had my first paycheck, and I went and bought Doc 
Martins, black Doc Martins, and I thought I was the shit. I thought I was the coolest girl in the school because I had original Doc Martins. Yeah. <laughs> good, good memories. Yeah, like, you, you cannot even qualify, like, so many talented students that have, that have it to go for the scholarship cannot afford it because, like, it's just too expensive. This is the reason why I dropped our school. It was mentally taxing and it was expensive as fuck. I remember sacrificing food money in order to buy materials for my projects because you need paints. You need paper, you need to print stuff out because it's a graphic design course, so you need to print it on a fancy designer paper and you have to present your project or you're, or you're a bad fucking graphic designer and student and human failure. Yeah. Do you have tips for when we're having anxiety with blank page? I couldn't pick up a brush for days now. Put... Like, you know, when you're talking on the phone and you start doodling silly stuff and your mind start, start likes to wander, do this, like, grab a pen and just start doodling something. It doesn't matter what, just put your hand on a piece of paper and just, and just start from every corner, any direction, whatever. Just start and then you will slowly get into it. Think less. Relax. I don't even wear the same shoes all the time because of money money situation is legit because I have issues in my food bone food bones. Oh I'm so sorry. This sucks. I don't know if it's just a good tip, but maybe just start me yeah, mess start messing around. That's a good tip. I had the chance to drop out of high school for a nice art school however i couldn't afford the housing nor travel costs so i couldn't take the chance yeah there are so many talented kids who just cannot afford it but it doesn't not having professional education doesn't take away your talent you still can learn you can still do art and not having art art education like Having art education is not required to be an artist, honestly. Maybe it requires to be like a professional artist, but believe me, people who just work on it and want to make it their livelihood, they succeed. People who figure out their relationship with art and think, okay, this is my cool hobby that I enjoy, this is a big part of my life, but I don't want to make it my, my like, livelihood i don't want to make it my work they have great time too like you can do art it doesn't matter if it's for money if it's professional the the thing like if if you enjoy it do it like good or bad whatever like the life is too short <laughs> okay guys just do art enjoy it be happy because I have to take this advice too. Um, when you get good at art, there is the sideways of should I be selling art? Because success is tied down to financial success, like if you can sell art. And I don't like this idea and I try to... I try to ground myself, like I'm doing this and I'm good at this because I love doing this, not because I want to sell this. So, yeah. What's going? Who's gone? I'm still in high school, don't worry. Oh, you have plenty of time. If you're still in school, focus on school. You can have your life figure out. If you don't enter university or whatever, after right after school do some do some retail job like retail job will change you as a person uh it can be a little bit hard but i don't know how to how to kind of um place it but working and getting a taste of 
responsibility and working a job kind of changes changes your perspective on many things especially if you work customer service you will be stronger than you as marines no n like it's also good to have people skills <laughs> it helped me out a lot my dad wants me to sell my art, but I don't know where to start. First, you need to get good at art. And you need to enjoy it. You can just draw. And when it comes um, to selling something, you can see what other people are doing. Basically charms, some fandom merch, you can create this especially some popular fandoms or things so yeah you can just watch what what the other guys are, are doing hey i'm back welcome back people always complain that we need more doctors nurses but it costs hell a lot of money to go to medical school uh, not only it costs money you need to be studying 24 7 medical school will leave you in shambles like medical school will destroy you i don't know it's really hard i could never work in customer service because of rude i would be rude back and get fired in my first week <laughs> customer service you know what the best thing to do when i learned this <laughs> When I was working customer service, not being like rude right back at the person who's being rude to you, but be so polite that they start feeling guilty of being rude to you. I did this several times because I usually like when I worked uh, at the front uh, of the shop. I didn't get like rude people but when occasionally someone was rude I would be so polite and helpful and put on a really nice tone of voice and be so nice that they start feeling awkward being this fucking rude to me in public this is so funny when people like this person take takes back and they kind of retract and they're like oh shit she's being nice to me I wanted to have a conflict, like, you can see that a person wants to mess with you and you're like, you're not giving them this energy back, you're staying calm and polite and they're like, fuck, <laughs> kill them with, yeah, kill them with kindness, it's, it's so funny, like, rude people, be polite with them, they will, they will not know what to do, like, if a person is being mean to you, they ex expect you to be mean back don't give them that just don't they will be left defendless <clears throat> i really started to draw a lot in sixth grade and i'm really glad my confidence in my art was so high then like i did one drawing that i was really proud of and i didn't stop from there yeah it's really nice to have your friends and close people to support you throughout your art journey i think that the reason why i got good in the first place is because um my mom was supportive of me my friends were supportive of me but people were generally saying like oh you are really good uh you are doing a great job so yeah i think that you're right like a person being nicer to you and seeing your effort and like recognizing that is really useful when it comes to getting better at art. I think that, yeah, having negative viewpoint and because it, art is so accessible, like sharing art, creating art is accessible. There are a lot of different artists out there and it's art is not a competition um, and comparing yourself to others is so damaging because um, you put this pressure on yourself 
and you expect results and you expect um, also likes and social media and algorithms are just messing up with you it's like real bad environment and it's really easy to kind of ruin your relationship with our like super easy to get burnt out and to shut down you look at artists who are better than you and think why should i even bother drawing when there are drawings like this out there um you should bother to make yourself happy because there are not many things <laughs> that can make a person happy right now i don't think like art makes me happy i do this because it makes me happy and there's no use to compare yourself to others really it's just do it how to layer watercolors wait for them to dry fully use less water and more paint when you're trying to create a new level completely unrelated but this is so pretty Shh. Gee, don't tell me sick. you know what i look like gary dubois from Disco Elysium. I have really bad dark eye circles. <laughs> I'm dying. <clears throat> Not really. Like, but thank you. I'm. <laughs> I'm really flattered. I try not to look in the mirror right now. Gay is when. I also like bleach my hair and my roots grew out a little bit. I feel ugly. If they grow out. I feel ugly. Unput together, like I feel like crap. <laughs> what are you saying? Thank you. Like, I will try to improve my art videos. The editing, the lighting, really dark. Maybe when there's like more sunlight, I will feel better, more beautiful videos. <clears throat> <clears throat> Who made fun? Aaron, show me who made fun of you. I will punch them in the crotch. Like, really? Aaron, don't take it to heart. I'm being mean back to them? No worry. <laughs> mm, just say thank you. I appreciate your input. If people bully you for your art, ask them if they could do the same. Yeah, that's a really good tactic. Like, what is your problem? <laughs> I was homeschooled in 6th grade because of the pandemic, so I didn't have many people to critique my art, whether good or bad. So that was also helpful yeah don't seek critique when you're starting out what you need is um, to keep going forward um, also tip for watercolors don't do more than three layers there are a lot of mixing techniques so Oh yeah, set up the lighting. I thought about like getting a ring light that's really bright. Oh, preparing to sell at a convention and this live stream made me so productive at finishing all those odd jobs I've been putting out. Yay! You do you. That's great. Oh my god, I remember I need to do something important. Okay, it's not too late. The girl asked if I can pass her a water bottle and I threw it across. Aaron, don't throw it! Don't throw water bottles. They stole my sketchbook. I still mad at them. Aaron, if those kids are insisting on bullying you on your art, just don't bring your sketchbook to, to school. Just make them forget about it. 
for a time being. Sometimes, like, is the best that you can do. I had a personal diary that I wrote in, and I once had it, like, in school, the girls stole it from me and read, read it in the toilet. I cried for weeks. But just don't bring your important personal belongings to school if someone is stealing it or bullying it. I learned, like, the hard way. Hey, Rose, do you like anime manga? Call it Toilet Bound Hanako Kun. I love the style. I love how vibrant the original illustrations are, and I love the designs because I'm obsessed with um, with those. Uh, I love uniforms. I think they look really neat. How do you scan your artworks? Sometimes it's better to take nice pictures in natural lighting, and sometimes you just put them in a scanner and scan them. Aaron Deepas, your school have an anonymous reporting system? If so, consider anonymously reporting them. Just say you were a bystander. Yes, I love that manga. Yeah, I love it too. I kind of... I watched anime for a little bit. I like the style a lot, the visual style. The plot is interesting too. It's still gone! Oh no, Aaron! Hmm... Sometimes the best thing that you can do is just not give them a reason to kind of pick on you. Bullying can be really hard, but if they cross the line, and if they really cross the line, just confront them. I don't know, because sometimes saying that you're being bullied at school to your parents can make it worse, but if you can have someone help you get your belongings back because they stole your belongings and they need to give it back, you maybe have a teacher that can help you with this. I'm so sorry this is happening. Yeah, like, it can turn around and, oh, so you rat, you rat, you like mommy boy, you run to your mommy to complain about bullying. But there is a line, and if they cross it, if they physically harm you, or if they stole your sketchbook, you need, you kind of need to, at one point, stand back for yourself. I'm so sorry this is happening. You don't know who took it? Mm. At this point, if you... If it, like... Get a new one and don't bring it to school is the best advice that I could give. Yeah, I'm like, I'm sorry this happened. Yes, snitches get stitches and whatever. It's okay, Aaron. Uh, I hope it like it gets better for you. Um, ignoring them and not paying attention to them and kind of just altogether showing that you're you're better than than this than whatever childish thing that they, they're trying to do is beyond you. So sometimes like you can hope that they get bored of picking on you and move on. Or you need to stand back for yourself at some point and show that you can punch back.
Aaron, I've been in a similar situation. It it will get better. It will be okay. Don't worry. You did what, Ella? Um, I had this episode where I was in science class, and I was pro I I had like a drawing, yaoi yeah, drawing, and a teacher outed me like in front of the class. He said like I'm tired of you drawing all the time. Stand up and show everyone what's your drawing, and I was like, no, please don't. So he came up to my desk snatched the drawing and showed it to class and loudly discussed what was drawn <laughs> it was some half half naked yeah why manga protagonist uh, uh, yeah it will get better at that time i thought that this is this was the end of the world for me but aaron don't worry <laughs> It will, it will get better. I'm so sorry. I'm sh like, he was a male teacher and, and he was like young and he thought he was being funny when he started like doing this and trying to embarrass me <laughs> in front of the class for drawing half naked anime boys on his lessons. Yeah. Sometimes ignoring can backfire, but yeah, th that's a nice tactic and just hope that they get bored and don't bother getting a reaction out of you. I had a classmate that was racist and he called my friend who's Asian chocolate girl and he is always some birds, so we called him tomato boy. <laughs> Damn. I had a girl, she had Arabic um, roots, Arabic family. She obviously had dark hair, beautiful, curly dark hair. She was a little bit curvier than other girls. She was really beautiful and kind and her eyes were so dark. They looked like um, black, uh, you know, the, the stone that is black, onyx, obsidian, so, and she had, a, like, some troubles with studying, because, uh, like, but she was so, so kind always, and boys bullied her for being slow and stupid, and I would always stand up for her, because I was like, get away from her, like, what, what What? are you doing? Like, does it make you feel better? Like, do you need to humiliate others in, other, in order to feel better about yourself? Well, that's fucking pathetic. And I would harshly say stuff like that, and eventually they backed off of my friend. Because uh, girls, we kind of united together, always, <laughs> when it came to boys being assholes. We kind of protected each other from boys when they were verbally mean or saying shit like, Oh, she cannot fucking put two and two together, stupid, stupid bitch or something like that. Teenagers can be assholes, like real assholes. Especially when, like, boys start picking up um, girls when they grow, if you know what I mean. Asking, oh, what cup is your bra? Are you wearing a bra? Oh, I hate it. Yeah. School? Hated it. Hated it. I hated school. Do you guys want the story on how I accidentally made a rumor about how that my friend died? Come on, give it to us. Yeah, racist classmates, am I right? I walked in room... Uh, oh my god. 
Don't get me started on the boys in my class. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Teenage boys be judging people for breathing. Yeah. I joked that I stole her clothes and showed the tag that had her name on it. And at the end of the year, apparently, in the other class, it started a rumor that she was dead. And that's the story. <laughs> Did she move? What? What? Why she died? <laughs> Why she died? Okay, I'm getting hungry. I don't like it. Ugh. The fact that I don't have any food and everything needs to be cooked. Yeah, I can make some tea. Hello, Charlie. I'm just chatting right now like I'm not drawing anything update we're discussing school and bullies <laughs> oh another paragraph oh moved she moved at the start of the year oh I see <laughs> that's funny <laughs> yeah I have her clothes she died <laughs> moved across the state <laughs> never knew that she died Um, I'm really hungry. I should have, I should have grabbed some snacks or something. Uh, I still want to draw them full height, but I kind of need to, kind of need to think of a pose. Do you find a name for the OC yet? I'm thinking. I'm thinking between Corey and. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should look up some C terms or something. Some something that has to do with the C. But Corey, kind of cute. Okay, I want to. There was an absolute creep in my class, so it always touched girls' arms and get way too close. He tried it on me, so I kicked him in the shins as hard as I could, and he never bothered me again. Yeah, slap them. Physically fight back, especially if they're being really weird. I mean, I mean the boys. If you get aggressive with them and you like physically get back at them, they can back away because they don't want their ass slapped. I would, like, I remember scratching, like, with nails, scratching, like, uh, if they were getting, like, too close, I would fight them, yeah. I would fight with the boys all the time. <laughs> oh yeah, that's bad discipline. One of my classmates ate the other dude's hair. Ew, uh, disgusting. What for? Is he lacking in any nutrients? Why would you eat someone else's hair? Some people have the weirdest bromance ever. This is also true. It'd be like that, especially in high school. They're like, bro, I love you, bro. But no homo, bro. Yeah, sure. I mean, of course no homo. <laughs> that story of gay chicken, where dude was, uh, like, not gay chicken in out, and for a brief moment, he and other guy kissed, and then years later, he was invited to this dude wedding, and he said, Remember when you didn't chicken out, out of the gay chicken, and we kissed for a brief moment that this is when I realized, like, I was gay, and this is, like, you were at my wedding today because you helped me. 
except my sexuality or something like that. I, I remember reading this story, it was so funny. <laughs> You're homeschooled? That's a... Congratulations! <laughs> I mean, do, do you have anxiety? Because I think that school, as bad as it can be, it kind of forms your response to social situations, to how you deal with other... like, how you deal and interact with other people, how you make connections. I'm like, I'm not saying that home homeschool people don't have people skills, but I wonder how it's like to be homeschooled. Please share your experience. Oh my god, crazy school stories, let's go! A guy ate a cigarette in my school and he got high. <laughs> you, uh... One of my friends was using the chocolate tip tuck filter on everyone. What is this? I don't- I don't want to find out. Honestly, I'm so glad- like, uh, yeah, the film's cool. Mm, I had one teacher who used literally to try cater to the popular jock boys and hated everyone else. Blah, disgusting. I want to be homeschooled. My parents are always tough on me, wanting to put in 100% and for. I don't show up to school half the time anymore because teachers don't even care as long as you get good grades. Ooh, that's a good tactic. Lucky my school is strict. If we skip school, they will call the police. Police? Shouldn't they, like, call your parents first, but maybe that's worse? Being homeschooled was my parents' choice, not mine. Also, yeah, I have anxiety. You're not wrong, lol. <laughs> so sorry. One person just got a chunk of this guy's hair off another guy and told him to let him eat it, so he ate it. He said it was delicious. Ugh, disgusting. Those two have bromance. I see where this is going. I wish I could fight back and stand up for myself, but the guys in my class are strong and scary and they will beat me up if I stand up. Aaron, eat more, <laughs> get buff, or have friends by your side. The school stories are gr- oh, I'm sorry. Not a very crazy story, but I had a guy ask if he could hide behind me so he could rape without being caught. Not school kids raping. I think that it's horrible. It's really, it's really bad. Vaping is really bad. For me, homeschool was bad, but it was because it was during pandemic, so I was just totally isolated. But yeah, isolating for a long periods of time can really mess up your brains it's really bad for you the only time i'm not getting bullying is for lunch because i have a strong friend who protects me that's so sweet oh my god i found three girls sharing a vape in the bathroom on my first week of high school ew it must taste like burnt vape if you know what i mean if you skip classes they will call our parents. Now I skip class with bathrooms or a library. That's a really smart move. Why are people always eating hair? <laughs> I don't know. I too skinny, Aaron. They bore you. You have fast metabolism. I think you're that one boy in class that's growing and has um, such good metabolism, whatever you eat is like gone you will put on some weight later but try to get into sports a little bit more maybe it will help at the beginning of the year half the school got sick with a cough and the one girl sounded like she was about to cough out a lung and i heard she got caught raping so i know why vaping is really bad for you like 
I don't trust weeps. <laughs> I'm like... I remember high school and the boys would wave all the time and it would stink. I hate this, um, the smell of wave because it reminds me of those dark times, you know? High school? Um, people who peaked in high school. Yeah, it stopped there. I have a proud moment where someone was bullying my friend that was the weird kid and I the bully told me I didn't know the weird guys that much and I remember screaming here's my friend it's okay it's okay <laughs> skipping classes is risky but if you can I think it's good to get out of school premises during breaks to get some sanity back oh yeah um I remember, like, I, sk I only skipped school when it was high school because teachers cared a little bit less and I was more sneaky with skipping. I was sneaky, I skipped some school, but I wouldn't say I skipped much school. You know, in high school, uh, there, there are two types of high schoolers. Though, that are like, oh, I already chose my university, I know what I'm going to do with my life, like, I'm going abroad to study this, my parents will help me, blah blah blah, I'm going to those... Uh, Courses to enter this awesome cool university and there are those who don't know what the heck they're supposed to do with their life and I was kind of I was depressed for the most of the high school because I was like so this is it 11 years of cock and ball torture now I need to get out and what <laughs> no one like in school teaches you freaking taxes financial uh literacy like oh my god like so many important things you only teach how to make shortcuts i don't know how to get around people who are difficult how to get around teachers who are difficult you only like i only learned how to find quick and easy solutions <laughs> without putting too much effort how to pass th this this test without studying too much uh, separating the books that we needed to bring to class between me like and my desk uh, desk mate classmate so we don't have to carry this heavy bag <clears throat> filled with books and notebooks to class um, in the US I know like I I would hate those freaking small individual desks they seem so uncomfortable to sit I would go fucking crazy but like in Eastern European school there's usually the deck uh, desk deck a desk and two people at once are sitting at a desk and rather it's it's rare for someone to sit alone. I almost got a seizure reading that. <laughs> I skipped most of my last year. Good for you. <clears throat> I'm really pretty at school, and there were hallways with plants. Oh, if your school is pretty, it's really nice. Your school sounds chill, except for those boys. 40% attendance? Oh my god. Hard to skip because there are teachers everywhere walking around and there is no place to hide, I'm so sorry. I've never skipped, but my mom opted me to out of help because no, they're teaching homosexuality. <laughs> and one time my science teacher 
subbed for my health class and he thought I skipped because I was in library. <laughs> Wait, um, I'm sorry? Teaching homosexuality? How is that? I'm like, I'm just genuinely curious. <laughs> Music is my only escape from the loud students. Oh yeah, searching for a quiet place is so necessary. You know what's the funny thing? Art school is silent as fuck. Everyone is too overworked and tired to even <laughs> make noise. I remember sleeping throughout classes. <laughs> I had really nice, like, um, it's really common for art students, at least in, uh, in the school that I was in, to sleep during the lessons because uh, someone is pulling all-nighter or something and didn't get much sleep. And I remember my art history teacher not waking me up because I fell asleep. I didn't sleep that night, and she was like, Honey, this was an important one, why did you sleep? And I like her a lot, and I, and I was like, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to, I love your lectures, they're not boring, I just didn't get any sleep at all, and she was like, Next time you better get some when you come to my class, baby girl, and I'm like, oh. I really felt guilty for sleeping in. Because um, art, art history class was one of my favorite. Skipping is moderately easy if you walk out with confidence. Oh yeah, like, I have somewhere to be. Being sneaky and fidgety can draw attention. And if you confidently walk out of the building, it's for a reason. Girl, yeah, she was really nice. She would give like you a cute nickname or call you a, a cute name or something. She was a really nice teacher. I would feel guilty if I wasn't prepared for the art history lesson. I'm like, I need to remember this. I don't want to disappoint her. She's such a good teacher. She tells everything in such fun and engaging way, and I don't want to disappoint her. You know those teachers? Uh, that when everyone does bad on a test, they sit there and think, You did so bad. Am I a bad teacher? Did I not explain it to you correctly? I would feel so guilty. Like, I would always... The one, like... Um, class that I would r take a lot of time to prepare for was her class because I'm like, I don't want to disappoint her. I love her to bits. But she was a really fun teacher. I miss her, really. The only thing I miss from art school is art class. And some of my OG group mates because, damn, sometimes connections and friendships that you make there they last and they are good. Sometimes they don't. I had a lot of dorm drama. I had a lot of... Um, especially when you live in the dorms. Um, I had a roommate who was snoring. And, you know, I'm really grumpy when I don't get sleep. So, we didn't have the best relationship. But we figured it out. I just went to sleep. Uh, with in another room with other girls they had a spare bed and I would bring my bed sheets my bedding to this uh, free bed and I would sleep there bye bye Pikachu I remember when I first started my upper form in high school, my language teacher, teacher noticed that I was the only one in class with no friends. I sat at the most of the front seat. Yeah, you don't have like the opportunity to talk shit on the front seat. So she asked the class if anyone in the uh, class is my friend and then only one person raised their hand even 
though I swear oh that's so sad my dad doesn't want me to opt out I'm out and to him and he's an alley so that's why I'm at public school not religious school oh my god religious school hell on earth kids at religious schools are the meanest most wild kids there is either wholesome or pure evil my school has signs uh, that say stuff like, you are accepted. Oh, this is so nice. When are you going to come out to your parents as straight? This is stupid. I would tear that poster down. <laughs> history teachers are a different breed. I love my history teachers so much. Yeah, they are. Wait, was it school approved or was it a joke? That poster sounds really out of touch. I had a teacher like that and she lectured us the whole class till the bang run. Yeah, history and English teacher are always the best. Yeah, I agree. History teachers! I'm friends with like a handful of people in the class, so the teacher told me to sit next to a girl who raised her hand. Fast forward of the end of 2022, our class is basically a big group of friends. Oh my god, having supportive, good uh, group of classmates? You're so freaking lucky. You should help each other out. You should cover for each other. If no one did the homework... Oh, dear teacher. You didn't task us with homework, hee <laughs> hee. Like, dead ass cover for each other. Oh, my, my book. My person, my crack. A math teacher makes us. With, hey, Chad. Wait, my math teacher makes us show her our math problem solutions before leaving, so I'm constantly late to my next class because she explains how you got it wrong if it's not correct. <laughs> bye. Bye bye. One time I got frustrated with everyday school that I just started screaming. <laughs> this is relatable. I used to go to a Catholic school where all students had to go to church every Friday. Gay. I went to religious school for the grade and ironically that's when I started to question religion. Religion is a tool to manipulate people. Although I must give it to church for sponsoring art. But mm -mm, now it's just I don't know, there's like a difference between people who are, who, who have faith and people who are religious, you know, fanatics, those who are not well in the head. I mean, if you think that way, you do you, like, you live your life how you think you live your life, but forcing your own, like, beliefs on other people can be quite harmful. Hello, I'm so sorry about making these noises. I'm allergic. <laughs> Bye, friends. Aaron, have a nice day. You're such an inspiration. So glad I caught this live. You have a mice? Uh, is she small? How big is she? Can she fit into your arm? Like one, one. Is she? Is she round? Please, let's talk about your pets. I have five mice. She can fit just like you think. Yes. <gasps> She's a little football. She's a little super small and cute and round. I'm gonna cry. I wanna help. I wanna hold the mouth in my, in my hand like this. <laughs> Please. Can I have a mouth in my, <laughs> in my hand? Please. <laughs> I don't have any. My family is allergic to most fur. Oh, I'm so sorry. I really want 
aren't a mouse, but my dogs eat everything they see, so sadly those mouse won't have a long life in my house. No! I have chickens, they're pretty funky. Oh yeah, they, they're super funky. They have so much character to them. I love my pets. They are very sweet and still give cuddles and licks, even though they are small. Oh, do they cuddle your finger, like hug it with small mouse hands? <laughs> Depression rate uh, would drop lately. Oh yeah, I definitely <laughs> survived because I had a kitty to pet at home. <laughs> something round and fluffy and something that would meow back at me. I first met my cat because the neighbors neglected her and I fed her and even though she went through so much lack of good attention, she's the sweetest cat I have ever met. Oh my god, some people just don't deserve pets. I go to Catholic school and I had a panic attack during mass and the religious guilt I felt afterwards. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I mean, maybe those words and actions and things that they say, you can like kind of feel them affecting you, but always know that it's, it's not going to last forever. You will get out of there, and it's up to you if you want to, like, believing in God, having faith, and being a religious freak is two different things. You can still, um, kind of be into religion, but not be, like, this way. I don't know if this helps, but... They're using kind of uh, religion to enforce their own views and insecurities onto other people. Let's say like not fitting in with the traditional norms and stuff. Don't like take it to heart. You're perfectly fine the way you are. Oh, thank you, fruity. <laughs> I have to have lunch soon. What should I have? Hmm, have something feeling, have, have a banana, and uh, maybe fruit, maybe some vegetables, something balanced, um, I need to have lunch soon, what should I do? I want to have lunch soon. <laughs> I want to kind of make this illusion of fish swimming through their hair. Mm, I live. N I've nearly graduated, and my teachers still bribe us with chocolate and take us on the field trips and give us stickers. That's so cute. No, I want the son that they made us grow up so fast. I need so much emotional support. I'm childish. It's okay to be a kid. Like, uh, it, it's okay to feel like you don't know shit. It's okay to feel like you're a kid. <laughs> because, really. I mean, I thought about, okay, so I, I'm past 18. I'm technically a young adult. An adult. Okay, I'm a grown person, I'll be like 24 in May, and I thought about it, and I was like, it's not about feeling grown up or being grown up, it's about responsibility mostly, realizing that you need to kind of, I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. <laughs> If you, if you feel responsibilities, if you feel responsible, I think this is mostly how, like, 
how I imagine adultery is um, making reasonable decisions and knowing what you stand for kind of thinking before taking actions sometimes choosing some like something that you don't want to do but you need to do oh my god i'm so sorry my allergy is killing me it's not even like it's just water in my nose and it's bothering me I played with dolls when I was 15 and I was embarrassed to tell anyone because girls were discussing boys and I was gay, <laughs> but I didn't know back then. Stickers is a form of currency? Ooh, maybe. We did this in middle school. We had sticker collections, I remember, like, I had an album full of stickers, we would exchange stickers for pocket money to collect the cool, shiny ones, oh yeah. Good times. Yo, this is the first of your that I have caught. Good for you, good for you. I'm drawing my ocean OC. Um, I shouldn't accentuate the crunch. Fruity. <laughs> I know I'm 15. My dad accepts me to get a job. Um, you're 15, like you're a teen. Um, you can get like a summer job or something. Like, being a cashier is re relatively easy. You just need to pay attention a little bit to what you're doing, but. It some like easy summer jobs for teenagers to do um sometimes parents are like i want you to know the taste of adulthood adulthood and it's basically having to do something because you have to like you need to eat you need money to eat you go and do your and do your job because uh, maybe this job is not necessarily what you want to do, but you need to eat nonetheless, so you go and do it. It's just as simple as that. And parents are like, I want you to know how hard it is to, ta to, to make money. Well, it's hard if you have, like, everyone has dreams and aspirations and all that. Everyone has a need to eat and have roof over their heads, but there's nothing wrong about going to a job. You don't have to like your job. If it's if it's okay, if it's tolerable, if it's not putting you on the verge of a mental breakdown, it's it's okay to have like a reg a regular job. <laughs> you don't have to have a special job that you like. Most people don't like their jobs. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point of having a job. You're not supposed to like it. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just... I'm being silly. <sighs> um... Have you shown your dad how expensive it is to go to medical school? I suggest you do this. <laughs> You need to know biology, chemistry, math? No? Yes? Whoa, everyone, dad is forced to be something. Uh, 
I don't know about you guys. What is a dad? <laughs> okay. I'm I'm being I'm being silly, I'm being funny, but uh, I kinda think that growing up without a father figure kinda better with growing up with like shit father <laughs> versus no father at all. I don't know, both are both suck but in very unique ways, but He's still supportive of my dreams, but still wants me to follow business. Um, parents usually want their kids to succeed, but they also worried about kids not succeeding. Maybe show your dad that if you pursue one thing and it doesn't work out, that you have a plan B. That like, hey dad, I know what I'm doing. And if it won't work, like, I will do this and that, I won't, like, I will be able to feed myself. D don't worry about me. I'm glad my parents don't want me to go to med school or something. Ugh, med school sucks. I don't want to be president or anything, but I want to help people. Maybe something that is related to charity might be your thing? It's really hard to find m meaningful uh, and uh, fulfilling jobs because ultimately, humans like like to be social. Humans are social creatures, and um, lately, like it kind of feels like everything is solely focused on just making money. And that's it. But we need a little bit more than that to function properly. The pandemic proved that. Social interactions are so freaking important, <laughs> and isolation, and people cannot, like, live in isolation. It's so, like, oh yeah, I'm an introvert, I can be alone. Yeah, but you have friends, right? Not being able to socialize properly, like, sucks. I'm like, I mean, making meaningful, good friend, like, connections to other humans is important. You learn it the hard way. <laughs> I feel like every- oh, if you gave me an art idea, I would draw it right now. If I gave you an art idea? Okay, okay, um, draw a jellyfish princess. Bam. I love it so much, oh my god. I didn't re read it through, like, fully. I remember uh, the boy confessing to her. I even forgot the names, shame to me. But yeah, I love this one. I love this one too. <laughs> it's It's such a classic. You know, if we're choosing between Oran Host Club and Princess Jellyfish, I I'd choose Princess Jellyfish. Sorry. I just love it. It's so camp.
Hey guys, what if we could see the bones and they were coral? Bam. Whoosh. I just love drawing skeletons. A little bit see-through. The hip would look something like this. The hip bone and then... Oh yeah. Bye! Bye-bye! Have a nice day. My brother was trying to run away and I had to bite the neighbor <laughs> to find him. What did I miss? First of all, is your brother okay? Second of all, why is he running? <laughs> what are you running? Why? 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 I would discuss school, police, homeschooling, crazy school stories. I'm so hungry, guys. I think I have to go soon because I, I'm like, I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. He is extra mentally ill. Don't worry about it. Uh, okay, I hope he's all right. I hope he gets better. I'm so sorry. Brain bag. Make it. Sparkle. Depressed. Sparkle. Yes. You need to eat. Yes, I need to eat. I'm just always a little bit insecure about uh, making sounds. Like uh, eating sounds, you know, on stream. Maybe it's unpleasant to some people or like having a runny nose. I'm like sitting there like, I hope I don't annoy anyone. I, it like it can be a little bit pleasant. Where's ASMR mukbang LMAO? <laughs> Where's be like mm, acid reflux? I can only eat <laughs> one cup of noodle. Oh, I'm really enjoying sketching this, oh my god. I'm having so much fun. Uh, I have this running theme of drawing skeletons. But I love it. I don't know. Maybe a little bit tone, tone it down somewhere. It's so fun. It's like, oh, I know there's a skeleton inside. Hee <laughs> hee, I know how to draw it. Hee <laughs> hee. So it's really fun sometimes. And you're like, ooh, I know how how to draw this bone. Hee <laughs> hee. Has anyone any name recommendations for a C I have who's basically a male Cupid? Call him Venus. You know this song by Bjork, Venus as a boy? It's really like dreamy. I <laughs> how did I do this shape? Okay, should I go over with line art? Hmm. It's hard to decide. Francis is a good name. Hmm. Ugh, my brain hurts. Should I do line art after I do the coloring? Should I do line art before I do the coloring? Before or after? Before? After? After? It's crushing my head. 
Oh, that's a really fancy name. Lineup after color is my jam. Yeah, I prefer it too. But sometimes line art then color works best. Mm, that's hard. I think I did a lot of lines that are kind of important. I, I need to. I need to separate it. Thank you, Sarah. All the names. Yeah, like, then Venus, Francis, Valentino. <laughs> if I ever need any recommendations, I'll probably <laughs> watch <clears throat> this live. Yeah, Th this, this is it. It's better than the baby names website. <laughs> I believe so. Mash them all together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, uh, white art, then color. Just really conflicted. Okay, I'll do coloring, then line art. This is the collective power of gathering together, and each person donates half a brain cell, and we have a full functioning brain. <laughs> And we can think of a name for an OC. I think when humans work together to come to a solution of a problem, it's beautiful. Oh, I have this really long, funky brush. The metal paint holder is shaped like a heart. Yeah, I made it. It was my creative decision to make it a heart. I'm getting too silly. Okay.
I see you discussing OC. <laughs> Tell any stories that you want in a chat, like. Sometimes I just, I go back, I save the stream, and then I just sit there and, and read the chat because I missed something while I was drawing. It's really nice, like, to read your stories and stuff. So yeah, please do share. You telling the story about an OC made me remember one of the animes that I watched uh, when I was young. So it's called Boogie Bob Phantom. Maybe you've heard of it. Not the new one, the old version. And basically every episode is like a separate story. There was an episode and I remember it because it made a big impression on me. So, there was a boy who discovered that he could see bugs around people's hearts, like, sitting on their chests, and no one else could see them. So, he grabs, one day, he grabs a bug of a big girl's chest and eats it, and it tastes delicious. And then he discovers that those bugs are sorrows, bad memories, something that weighs it on people. And that boy, he lost his mother in a car crash. And his father is grieving for the mother. And he, of course, has a bug on his chest. The boy is the bug on his father's chest. People lose the memory of those, yeah. And uh, the next day, the boy wakes up and his father is sitting there staring at mother's photograph and asking, Who's that movie? Who is that woman? Yeah, like, really cool episode. But, uh, I have to warn you, Boogie Bob Phantom, the original, uh, series, it's pretty grim and dark. So, if you're not a fan of this stuff, I suggest not watching it. The ending, son, slaps. It's that show that is not trying to be overly dramatic and dark and it feels goofy. It really has this atmosphere. It, it's, it's kind of iconic. I, I love it so much. Not many people saw it. So yeah, Boogie Bob Phantom Slaps.
Hmm. I noticed that when I was younger, I came up with um, really funny, I wouldn't say like Mary Sue, but outlandish OCs that were out there. And as I got older, I'm like, his name is Bob. He's, he works in library. That's it. <laughs> it's kind of got simpler. But I still have like fantasy OCs, but they are a little bit more grounded. Um, Harry was a Mary Sue, and after months, he was a good <laughs> I think there's like nothing bad about having Mary Sue OCs. OCs like are not supposed to be realistic at all. <laughs> oh yeah, the wanting to making comics. I feel you. When I will figure out how to do comics, I will give you my advice. For now, all I feel that it's just hard and you need a lot of willpower to stay consistent and continue making the comic. Starting point would be fleshing out your characters, working on the plot line, not just random cool episodes, but like starting somewhere. You should have a starting point for your story. Yeah, like, basically, your character, your story, like, you have to be a little bit of a writer to make a comic, because you're telling a story through visuals, and it's not just pretty pictures. It can be just pretty pictures, and the reader will be left there to kind of interpret it in their own way, but kind of need to think about the story first and foremost. Sometimes the drawing style is not what needs to be worked on in the first place. It can be a tool to help set the mood, to help better convey certain ideas that you want to show in your story, but you have to come up with a story to tell, basically. Write it out, flesh it out, create something that you can show and draw. And visuals help you better show what you want to tell, like how you want to tell. Let's say a person is reading a book and they have their imagination. Of course, author kind of des describes with words how certain things look, but 
ultimately you need to write a book but you have the power of kind of creating this imaginary imaginary world that a person would create with their mind it's kind of you have the power to show your imaginary story to another person in exact precise detail and like that I'm back from dinner mm, I want dinner What I miss? What I miss? Oh my sweet boy, I wanna give you a kiss. Mwah. I don't know that long, 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 back to my knees. Long time is. Kneecaps? Oh, please, I, I need them. Please. Eat or you will come. And what? I don't fear you. Uh, the seashell. Should I make it blue? Or red? Red. Don't have kneecaps? Cool. <laughs> okay, I, I will do a line art on top, but you know what? I'm hungry. As hell. And, um, thinking about the background, I want to make it like deep blue. I'll think about it. But for the time being, guys, it's been really fun. And I want to eat real bad. So. <laughs> I will finish this off stream. Go follow my Twitter. I will post those drawings there. And um, thank you for coming to art lessons slash school stories slash picking a name for an OC slash whatever gathering of beautiful individuals we had here. It was really fun to draw along with you. And, um,. Discord. I will work on creating a Discord server where you can continue those conversations because I can see like people talking to each other in the chat and it's really nice to see like com to see people communicate with each other. I'm really sleepy. <laughs> When I'm about to do the next live stream, uh, I was really in the mood to talk, and I made a live stream today, but I think put on your notifications, maybe if I have, like, mood uh, this, or maybe following week, I'm not sure really, I'm super pooper busy, <laughs> Ugh, but I really wanted to kind of come here and stream so <laughs> yeah turn on the notifications follow me on twitter i think i will post the discord link here on the community tab when i make it and i will post it on twitter so you can come so check the community tab by the end of the week, I think I can set up a server. 
just need to sit down and set it up. So yeah. Wait, we've been here for five hours? Oopsie daisy. Yeah, that happens sometimes. I hope you had fun. I'm definitely hungry. <laughs> If you need to, like, exchange your socials so you don't lose each other, oh, I will make a community po post to so you can guys come and uh, exchange socials in in there to continue chatting. Okay, um, ugh, I will crunch my back. Please don't freak out. Ouch. Okay. <laughs> I will go eat. It was nice to have you all here. Thank you so much for coming. And see you in the next one. Uh, you know the Gossip Girl meme? But it's Go Piss Girl? Yeah, it's Marinette. Okay, bye.